probably a bad idea. I'm not at all set up yet. Well, I am pretty set up, actually. I just gotta open up this page and then... Yeah, okay. We're good. Never mind. We're fine. <clears throat> I am an upload behind on the VOD channel on Callsign Orc, but that's because I have to edit the last stream because it crashed in the middle, so I gotta splice them together in my editor. So, and I haven't gotten around to that yet. So, that's why that's a thing. Otherwise, um, everything's pretty okay. <clears throat> Alright, real quick, we're going to get a link in Discord. I gotta download that Me6 bot thing that Pixel has. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we got a big Monday Night Your Free Wall, and we're going to be going easier than remembering to paste the link. Yeah, you're right. Alright, we're going to try to get through the two first weeks of September, and there is two months until Halloween Havoc, which actually, while I'm here, I'm going to edit this because this is not the correct thing. Because I deleted that arena because I didn't like it. So, where is the thing? Already on party, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll join in just a second. Hold on a second. Alright, let's, let's, I'm going to edit this real quick. Because some arena data in this content is not available, it will be replaced automatically. Okay, yeah, we got that. Halloween Havoc. I like the in-game Halloween Havoc more than the normal one. The normal one. More than the one I downloaded, I mean. <sighs> Alright, where is... Oh, wait. Okay, we need arena images. <laughs> There we go. All right, where's Halloween Havoc at? We got Monday Nitro there. Halloween Havoc. Oh, it's just over. There we go. Yeah. We'll keep that watermark image. Why not? The rest of this, though. The rest of this. Wait, is there not a show load for Halloween Havoc? Alright, then I guess I'll just do that. <laughs> there we go. But it. Is that? Is that? Okay, wait. No, there has to be one here. Come on. Oh, it was right over, and I'm blind. God damn. Okay, yeah, this works. Yeah. All right, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna join this part of the pixel now. <clears throat> mm. 
Hoo hoo. Okay. Uh, I, I quickly checked before we were like, oh, let's do the raid, and uh, I had to make sure it was still going on. It only started the 19th. And it goes till the twenty sixth. Wow, that's a wait. Wow, that's a long raid. <laughs> I mean, it is jeering after all. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah, after stream, I'm gonna be joining Pixel with some raid grinding on Xenoverse Two. I don't know if he's gonna stream it, but that's just what I'm gonna do. Um, no. Nah. All right, just a chill, fun time. All right, so Monday Nitro. I was planning on streaming, but uh. My, my undiagnosed ADHD prevented me from doing work for like six hours. So I had to get my school work done before. That makes sense. Responsible Pixel is responsible. <laughs> and, and not to mention, I stayed in bed until 1 p.m. I Yeah, I stayed in bed pretty late. See, the thing is, I woke up at 8. But I went to bed late, so I ate, I only had like three hours of sleep, and I was about to die, so I just stayed in bed and woke up at like one, oh. two. I went to bed at uh, one, woke up at eight. Uh, my brother came in and talked to me uh, some until sometime around nine, I think. Uh, and I ended up just laying in bed, and I fell back asleep. Mm. Until one, when I woke up. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, Monday Nitro, we got a huge main event, a six-pack challenge to decide who will be the number one contender for the heavyweight championship at Halloween Havoc. We got Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, Jushin Liger, Elias, Kenny Omega, and Brock Lesnar all vying for a chance at the title. And a six-pack challenge, the way it works, is you have to pin or submit someone and eliminate them. And the last one in the main... And the ring wins. And it's easier than one fall to a finish. Because if it's one fall to a finish, the match will go on for like an hour. And the way it is, it probably will go on for an hour anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. But before that, we got the you jury. it's not an elimination because it, it's one fall to a finish. Because it'd be extremely long if it was just uh, an elimination. Hmm? Because I, th I think you had misspoke. Because you said it's not one fall to a finish because that would take too long. And I was like, what? It's not one fall to a finish because that would take too long. That's what you said. Yeah, that's the, what, where's the, what, wait, what, now you're confusing me. Wait, what, what's wrong about that? Is it elimination? It is, yes. One pinfall would make it so much easier, though. Because if well, one person pins someone, then the match is over. Yeah. Like, sure, you're going to have the pin breakups, but that makes it a bit more exciting. You know what, Pixel? I don't think I like you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Before that, we have Tachiri versus Bob Rude in a 2 out of 3 falls match. We got Ricochet and Rhino versus The Butcher and The Blade. We got Asuka versus Nikki Cross in our first second round Gold Rush matchup. My question Hurricane is, versus Norm Dar. Because why not? We have Alistair Black taking on Arn Anderson. And then that big old main event. That big beef in making main event. So much testosterone in one ring. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, did you hear that a Brock Lesnar lookalike was seen backstage at NXT? I don't know if that's true or not. It's true. What? <laughs> there, there was a Brock Lesnar lookalike backstage at NXT. It was not Brock Lesnar. Was it a fan? <laughs> no, it was... I think it was like, Were they doing a rib on the locker room? <laughs> No, I th I th honestly think it's someone who's trying to get into professional wrestling because I think it was like a uh, rugby a former rugby player. Oh, okay. Cesaro used to play rugby. Well, 
wasn't Cesaro. <laughs> does not look like... Cesaro uh, looks Brock exactly Lesnar. like Brock Lesnar. What are you talking about? <laughs> X to doubt. Does he, though? Remember that? Remember when back when Cesaro was Antonio Cesaro? That was like something Michael Cole would always say about him. He was in, he was a former rugby player, but was kicked out of the league for being too competitive, being too violent. Oh yeah, want to hear a dumb rule on uh, Vince's private plane? No sneezing. No, but I it? would imagine that's one of them. <laughs> Uh, you're not allowed to sleep unless he sleeps. He rarely sleeps on the plane. The dude rarely sleeps ever. Just in general. I'd say X to doubt, but uh, what what would be Making his way the... to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at one hundred eighty-nine pounds? It. He is Mr. What? Money in the Bank, Ted. So it. Basically, I'd be pressing the opposite of X to Dow. I guess Y? I don't know. After X comes Y, so I guess that would be the opposite of X. Here, I'll read you the rumors. The Japanese buzzsaw uh, Tajiri with that golden ticket briefcase in hand, ready to take on Bobby Roode at a 2 out of 3 falls match. On the bump, Chad Gable said that Jason Jordan is trying to get back from his career-threatening injury, and he hopes there will be an American Alpha reunion one day. Ooh. Because I, like, that's been one of those things where it's like, he's an executive producer. I've been like, yeah, but as how bad was the injury? Like, Look Jesus strong, Christ, he's been out Canada, so long. Yeah, Jonathan Coachman mentioned to Chris Van Vliet that one of, Vince, one of Vince's quirky rules is that nobody is allowed to sleep on his private jet unless Vince is also asleep. It was a frustrating experience because McMahon rarely went to sleep. That's so stupid. Yeah. So it's not a rumor, it's confirmed. <laughs> the glorious one, Bobby uh, Roode. It's a football player. Parker Bordeaux, a football player who has an uncanny resemblance to Brock, was backstage at this week's NXT. It's amazing. I mean, it would make sense. Glorious. Especially if they were a Viking. <laughs> Brock Lesnar was on the practice squad of the Vikings. Mm. And then quit football. Okay, I'm playing this match. And then I assume he went to Japan for those years and then uh, eventually came back to UFC to fight in UFC and then eventually came back and ruined WWE. <laughs> Jerry coming to Bobby Roode with that I enziguri. Mean, doesn't that sound like Brock? Kinda. <laughs> Roundhouse kick, ducked. Bobby Roode with the rights. I love when people use their save edited character to get number one time patrolling. Don't you? It's great. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah. uh, I especially like this. Uh, I I can't tell what color it is because, yeah, but I think it's a pink-haired Super Saiyan 3. So, hmm? Rose. Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan 3 Rose. Rose. <laughs> that, that brings up the question. Would it be Super Saiyan 3 Rose or would it be Super Saiyan Rose 3. I think Super Saiyan 3 Rose. Because you turn Super Saiyan 3 and then the Rose turns on. <laughs> <laughs> Pink.
but no. Huh. Getting God of Destruction top. Yeah. You get out of that Bobby Roon. The Japanese buzzsaw about to jump for it. Over the, the top! Back. Diving Senton! Legendary pack confirms to me that it's a paid DLC. Oh yeah. Which makes me sad. Dude, the crowd turning this is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna be buying uh Xenoverse DLC. More DLC for me to buy! Yay! I'm gonna wait till the full pack full pass is out. Big elbow by Tajiri. You know, a lot of people are complaining because, but I wanted Dispo. I believe Dispo. he's the rabbit of. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's the rabbit of Universe Eleven, and therefore, people want him really badly. <laughs> I could honestly see them adding him Legendary Pack Two, because. If it's going to be named Legendary Pack 1, then there's going to be a Legendary Pack 2, maybe a yeah. Legendary Pack 3 and 4. They might just pull another uh, Ultra Pack instead and just do 2, but I feel like they're going to do 4. I feel like one of the I feel like one of them has to Include a tr new transformation. Yeah. One of the updates has to. So I'm expecting one of three transformations. I'll start with the ones. Actually, one of four transformations. I'll start with the one. What did I just do? I doubt. The one I doubt the most to the one I would honestly think they'd add. Mm. The one I doubt the most, Super Saiyan 4. Next, Super Saiyan God. Next, Rose. And then finally, UI. I feel like it's inevitable that they're going to eventually add Ultra Instinct. Yeah. Vintage Drew with that springboard back elbow. Dropping him right in his face! Oh, there we go! Oh, and I kind of expected this. Uh. A, a bit of news coming from Bring the start! Manga is that Goku's UI is a completely different form from the Angel's UI because he hasn't mastered it fully. Because mm. I'm going to assume you have UI Omen, uh, Ultra Instinct, then eventually mastered Ultra Instinct, and that's the type of Ultra Instinct Luis has, and then there's levels above it. Oh wow! Because uh, the Grand Priest has more has a more prestigious Ultra Instinct than uh, Luis and the other angels, and then I would assume Zeno has the highest form of Ultra Instinct. Because mm -hmm. you know he created. He, he knows what you're thinking at all times. Get those <laughs> horny thoughts out of your head. Get those horny thoughts out of your head. Dragon suplex by Tajiri! He and his future self are children. <laughs> Giant knee from Tajiri. Could you imagine that, though? <laughs> you just meet, like, a legitimate... God of everything. Oh, the poison and... mist! What, is, is there no DQs? I guess not! The ref didn't... What the hell, ref? That gives him a point! What? <laughs> it was...
was two to one. It was two to one. Tajiri giving Bobby Roode that point with the poison mist. <laughs> Didn't care, hit the brain buster right after. Smart of Tajiri, actually. Really? He was willing to risk the fall so that he could guarantee the fall. No need for that buzzsaw kick tonight. Taking Bobby Roode out with two bu brain busters. We're going to need to get Bobby Roode back there quick. Check his eyes out. He's taken two of those in the span of a week. Here is your winner, I don't know what's in that mist, but it's bad for you. Turns out it's just water. And it's just salt water. It's just salt water. I mean, I still wouldn't want salt in my eyes. I mean, that's what your tears are. It is? Yeah. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, there's uh, there's other bodily fluids, but I'm like pretty sure it's mostly just like water and salt. Uh. And whatever your eyelashes have caught. Titanium. Sure. Uh, <laughs> tiny micro bits of. Titanium. I work in a, I work in a steel mill. <laughs> You'd be cutting titanium in a steel. Tungsten. Plus, I'm pretty sure you'd be wearing safety glasses at all times. I so take them off when the boss isn't looking. Unless you're breaching OSHA. Breaching uh, OSHA. Or the company is breaching OSHA. <laughs> Alright, so R and R taking on the knife and the meat salesman. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the knife and the meat salesman. <laughs> That's that honestly sounds like something WCW would have called them instead of <laughs> The Butcher and the Blade. Hello, my children. Hi, Ed. R and R about to take for on. The knife and the meat salesman. Are you ready for this WCW classic R and R versus the knife and the meat salesman? <laughs> uh, you can thank you can thank Simon Miller for that joke. God damn, it's great. <laughs> I don't watch what culture anymore. This is a funny joke. One. And only. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. So I think I might have permanently broken my universe mode. Because when I tried to do that edit and make Rhino's manager the new Dusty Roads that I downloaded, it broke the rivalry. And now I think just everything is broken. Rivalries just don't work anymore. Because in the menu, it said that this is a rivalry match. But then when I go to edit, it says it's just a normal 2v2. But, uh, yeah. Uh... Ricochet really needs to be... ...social distant... And ...compliant. At a combined weight. Oh, is he, uh, diagnosed with COVID? No, but he'll probably eventually get diagnosed with COVID. Hmm. Because he's been having a lot of parties. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah! Him and Casey Catanzaro. Hmm? Him and his girlfriend, Casey Catanzaro. Ah, okay. Right, Ricochet and the Butcher starting us off. Yeah. Like... Ricochet and the butcher. Ricochet and the blade. God damn it. You had co. Ricochet yeah, Ed. Yeah, Ed talked to me about that. It was not good. <laughs> it was yeah, such bull. We won't get into details, but it was such bullshit too the way it happened. I I, I honestly don't doubt. Like, part of me still thinks that. Uh, 
back in January, I had COVID. <laughs> like, part of me thinks that. And I think I was... I think it was just, like... It's possible. As some people have described it, the flu, but worse. Yeah. It's... If, in that case, then, it's probably possible that I had it, be, too, in that case, because... Um, I only ever get sick, like, once a year. And it, it, the thing, the downfall to that is that it's usually really bad. And it happened, like, the first week of January when I got sick. And it was really bad. I was I had such, I had, like, a really bad fever. I had a huge, really bad sore throat. I was so slow. I stayed in bed for, like, three days straight. It was sucked. And so, if that's the case, I probably had it, too. Stayed inside for a year like, for nothing. Yeah, it was such bullshit. <laughs> God. You know, like... It was before COVID had shut down everything, so we won't know for sure. But just from how some people have described it, it does make me think that I could have had it back in January before it was super big and social distancing and all that. Mm -hmm. Like... Yeah, very course, mild symptoms, thankfully. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Compared to what some people have had, me and Jake had mild symptoms. Yeah. And thankfully, Ed as well. Ricochet attacking in the big rhino. Two of you big boys like, going on here. But then the other thing that makes me think I didn't have it is that it... Only me and my brother got it, hmm. but no, no one else in my family got it, like, that live with me. Mm hmm Yeah, same. Bristino just sent something into the wrestling chat. <laughs> but it, it could have also been the fact that they were asymptomatic and... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that picture. I've seen it, too. It's great. <laughs> Bernie's got a really good arm bar in. <laughs> that, it, I mean, like, if, you, if that was real, that would be an amazing arm bar. My God. <laughs> I could imagine Bernie pulling that off. <laughs> this man, 72 years of age in an MMA fight. People said it couldn't happen, but by God, this man locks in the armbar like a... something. <laughs> I, lo I love the memes that are coming out of Bernie sitting like that. I 100% believe he did it on purpose. He knew it was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Bernie just knows what's meme worthy and what's not, and he's just secretly not leaning into it. Yeah, a ricochet putting Butcher up on the top rope. He's Hurricane Rana into the power into bomb. It. I hope Pristino comes into the stream today. He posted that in the chat, so you know he's around. No, I'm trying Big to think of how bad my whatever sickness I had was in January. Oh, and the funniest thing was when I went to when I went to the doctor's office, they said that Oh. Uh, they were glad it wasn't, like, the flu or whatever else was going around in my area. Because mm. there were two diseases that were going around. So, it could have been, it could have been that I had COVID, but, uh, they oh. didn't have any tests for it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just weird. <laughs> Oh, and Roman called Adam Pierce a huh. pussy. Yep. And then Paul Heyman called out Adam Pierce to a match they're having on SmackDown tonight. So if you don't want to watch this shit, go ahead and watch SmackDown because that sounds like it's going to be a banger. <laughs> Wait, really? No, yeah, I was like strolling through Instagram before the stream started and I saw, oh, Paul Heyman challenges Adam Pierce. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Pierce does have real experience wrestling though, that's the thing. So, there's that. 
And Paul Heyman had a street fight with Mr. McMahon one night. So there's that. And oh, wow. Cole and El Cesaro with the Swiss swing. Whatever you can do, I can do better, Cesaro says. The blade. Taking the man beast for a ride. And here's the cover. One, two. Only a two. With that kick out. Picking him up into the corner. He goes. Going to see a tactic maneuver here from the Butcher. Nope. All right, now turns it around. There's a cheap shot by the Butcher, though. And a Rhino stunned. There we go. Big boot. Oh, one for the chop block. He's going to go low. Into the corner again. Tags in the butcher. Here we go. Off the ropes. Drop toe hold. Elbow right to the back. And a stomp to the head by the butcher. Big chop to the top of the head. My screen went black again. God damn it. I thought we fixed this. You didn't. Why does it do this? I hate this. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This universe. Right. Oh, the butcher's caught. Rhino. Gordon Buster! This universe subreddit is horny. <laughs> Arm drag by the butcher. Go throw it over the top rope. The butcher taking this fight to the outside. Oh, with the goozle. The butcher choke slam on the outside. Slap across the face from Rhino. How dare you choke slam the man beast? I freed the count of four. Slamming the butcher's head right into that steel barricade. The count of seven. Back into the ring goes the butcher. There's the hot tag to the blade. Oh, a pump kick. Rhino quickly back to his feet. The clothesline misses. The blade is in trouble. Gore! Breaking the blade in half! One! Two, three. R and R with the decisive victory. <clears throat> Come here. I need to see. Heyman versus Adam <laughs> Pierce. I need this in my life. <laughs> I don't care, Bianca. You're watching SmackDown now? Yes. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? <laughs> it's Paul Heyman, Jake. It's the Monday Night Wars all over again. I've gotten you to our. I've made you go to our enemy. <laughs> oh no. It's exactly like mankind winning the WWE title. This is the worst that could have possibly happened. Alright, but there's R&R &R, the decisive victory, and now Asuka gonna take on the unpredictable Nikki Cross. Confirmed for round two, we have this match here, Oscar versus Nikki Cross. There's Bull Nakano versus Bailey, Shotzi Blackheart versus Sarah Logan, and Io Shirai versus Lita. Bailey is making Bianca. Oh yeah, that she's running like a course. Yeah, she's making Bianca do an obstacle course. My two picks for 
now that we're in round two, my two picks for the winner of this gold rush is between Yo Shirai and Shotzi Blackheart. Those are the two I see going all the way. One of them, because they're on the same side of the bracket. Pixel, what are you thinking? I can't wait to see Heyman versus Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> just all of your attention is just gone from me. <laughs> How about in chat? Who are we thinking? Who's going to make it all the way? Oh my god, they're lifting a tractor tire. That's how Bianca Belair was discovered by Mark Henry at a women's uh, strong lifting tournament. Mm. How she was scouted, I mean. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, a three-time women's champion, by the end of this tournament could be holding number four. Yes, sir. Uh, Bailey went around the <laughs> hurdles. Eh. Bailey missed the shot. 112. Hmm. She completed the obstacle course in 112. I'm waiting for Bianca to beat it in 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. People diss her because her character is annoying, and yeah, it kind of is. But Bianca Belair is a great athlete. Like She's really good. She's a great athlete, but her... She, She's she, just a little annoying. As a character, is annoying <laughs> as hell. She has one of the most effortless 450 splashes ever. Does she still do the 450 splash? I don't know. She probably she did watch. it in NXT. She has Jesus a spear. Jesus Christ! She lifted the tire in a second. I believe it. <laughs> she lifted and flipped it in a second. She has a spear. She has the KOD. Is it the KOD? Or is it the DOA? DOA, I think. I no. Think it's, yeah, it's I don't KOD. remember. KOD. Kiss of Death. Because DOA is de dead on arrival. Yeah. Oh, she's, oh she's yeah! Stealing, she's stealing Suicide's gimmick. <laughs> Otis is getting on Bianca's shoulders. Excuse me? Yeah, and Bianca just carried him. That's awesome. She carried him across the red line, and gotta... Bailey's ankles were broken. I gotta start watching the replays on Hulu. Yeah, you gotta watch the obstacle course, because holy crap. Alright, Oscar versus Nikki Cross here. Suplex by Nikki Cross. Crucifix. Slam. Right to the back of the head. Into the corner goes Asuka. Nikki Cross with a cross chop. Attacking the leg. There's the forearm, elbow, the slaps. Asuka running a train on Nikki. There's the kitchen sink knee turning her inside out. Going for an early cover here. Only a one count though. On the shoulders. So Snake Guy's on the top rope. Asuka attacking the ankles. I mean knees. <laughs> Ankles are kind of like knees, right? 
Well, our ankles are supposed to be our actual knees. Because that, that's what the knees of other animals are. <laughs> I'm not even joking. No, yeah, you're our right. Our ankles are, are the knee of the ankle. <laughs> Dragon Sleeper. Does not look to be in very tight, but okay. Ooh, Asuka was charging up for a roundhouse there, but Nikki Cross stopped her. All right, folks. Hard forearm. Right to the jaw. Otis is 330 pounds. Oh, he's a big boy, yeah. And oh, Nikki Cross. And Bianca Belair carried him effortlessly, like, 10 feet. Yeah. Jesus Christ. She's a power lifter, man. I don't care. That's <laughs> impressive. I mean, I yeah. I don't care of course. who you are. <laughs> Carrying 300 pounds that effortlessly is incredible. Oh, Oscar from the top rope. The knee right to the head. Oscar. With the GTS and the penalty kick, the end could be coming soon for Nikki Cross. One, two, three. Oh no, two and a half! It's not that strong as Bjorn. Bjorn is most powerful. <laughs> oh, going for the Empress kick. Bjorn is back. Spinning heel kick right to the temple! Bjorn can lift six goats and one cow. That one cow makes a huge difference. <laughs> it actually does, because I think <laughs> cows normally weigh like three. Cows are enormous, man. The average cow size across all breeds is 1390 pounds. Jeez. So, yeah. And an easy win for the Oscar. Cow does make the diff the biggest difference. Right. Oscar moves on to the semifinals. The the weight of a goat can vary between forty four pounds and three hundred ten pounds. That is a very big difference. <laughs> And Chalones does not want to work with me, so I gotta write that down. Hold on a second. Where's my notebook? Okay. Mo most adult females are between 120 and 170 pounds. So I'll just go based off of that number since cows are female. Literally no other reason than that. So I'll take 120 plus 170, and this is by no means a good average. So that's an average of 145 pounds. Uh, times 6, that's 870 pounds. You add that to the 1390, that's 2,260 pounds. Ooh, look at me, I'm pixel, I can do math. I did it on my calculator, you oh, moron. Oh, look at me on Pixel, I have a calculator. <laughs> you do too! It's called your phone! <laughs> oh, there's Ed using the Dolo CMO. Awesome, man. But did you pay for it? No, I'm kidding, it's fine. No. <laughs> I, know you can, I know there's the channel points thing. I'm joking. <laughs> Nerd. Oh, there's a free version of the of Talking Smack tomorrow morning. Awesome. All right, up next is the Hurricane versus No Amdar. Imagine no Amdar. not having this as an emote. That is pretty cool. <clears throat> I need to get. I need to stream more often so I can unlock more emote slots. I'm sorry, Jake. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you, Ed. I was joking. It's fine. Using the channel points to unlock it, that's the, just basically just a loyal fan. Alright. Hurricane versus Noam Dar. Dominic versus Corbin. 
Ooh. Also, go Hurricane. Indeed, the United States champion. Hurricane Helms. Uh, recently in the Discord, I added a Universe Mode channel where I put little updates and backstage stuff. Uh, Hurricane Helms has revealed he's taken to calling the, shine, the Shining Wizard he does the Sparkling Wizard. So there's an update for you there. Will we see him unleash the Sparkling Wizard tonight against Noam Dar? No, I'm, we have not seen a whole lot of Noam Dar this season. It's kind of died down. He had a good year one, year two. But year three has not been his best. Jake predicted Paul Heyman wrestling Adam Pierce. <laughs> I predicted it? <laughs> yeah, because uh, uh, Paul Heyman was fighting in your universe mode. Okay. If it makes you feel better, you've officially ha I've affi the, yeah, that's the, that's a good point. <laughs> also, for a long time I thought I lost it. I promise Ed, I have it. It's in my drawer right now. I can give it to you anytime. And here's the Scottish Supernova. No am Why not just put it in his mailbox at some point? He lives so far away from me. Darn. I tried. I could send a courier to probably give it to you. But they might end up getting shot in the head. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> Follow New Vegas! I really want Dominic to beat. Uh, I predict sometime, sometime this year, Dominic and Ray are going to be tag team champions. Sometime this year. That would be really cool if they did that. No, I imagine Dominic turning on Ray. All right, this match that. getting set to start here soon. Oh, but wait a second! Someone coming down the ramp. It's Mike Awesome, Mike Awesome coming down the ramp. Oh. Dominic dodged the alley oop bomb. Cool. End of day is on Dominic. Alright, this match is going to continue. Now we have Mike here at ringside. Surveying his rival Hurricane Helms and Noam Dar pushing the hurricane into the corner. These two very even, I would say very evenly matched just all around in terms of size, speed, skill. Hurricane, though, with the experience, I would say. <gasps> Paul Heyman versus Adam Pierce is next! <laughs> You're so excited for it. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Paul Heyman, he starts, comes up, you hear the demon music playing, starts coming out like a demon. <laughs> <laughs> so like that one time. <laughs> I swear to God, if they have. Goldberg beat Drew. I'm going to kill someone. Drew McIntyre finna, ca finna Claymore Goldberg back to the 90s. Claymore him back to when he was a good wrestler. Oh wait, <laughs> that'd be before he was born. I don't think that... Sure. No, I'm Dar choking out Hurricane. Because he was never Drop to a hold by Hurricane. Oh, I'm Dara face first into the mat. And the Northern Lights suplex by Hurricane Helms. Oh. Goldberg was the Brock Lesnar of the 90s. Hmm. Huge back elbow by Hurricane. 
And Brock One. Lesnar was the Brock Lesnar of the 2010s. <laughs> Rest hold applied on Noam Dar. He's got to try to find a way out of this hold. And if that's true, then Bruno San Martino was the Brock Lesnar of the 60s, 70s. Huh. He held the championship so long, he became the championship. And then he lost it and nuclear heat on whoever had won it. Mike Austin trying to distract Hurricane Helms from ringside. Oh, and there goes the champ. We could, we could see these two implode right now. Oh, wait. No, I'm Dar with a huge shot right to the bridge of the nose. Taking him down. No thanks to Mike Awesome. Oh, tries to go low for that drop kick. And Hurricane quickly gets back into the ring. No, I'm Dar follows. <laughs> No, I'm Dar. Off the ropes. Went, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Penalty kick by Noam Dar. I really hope they don't skip Paul Heyman's entrance. That'd be <laughs> big sad. They got the hero down. <laughs> oh, here we go. Choke hold in. Zeno choke slam. Quickly into the cover. One, two, three, and there goes no Amdar. That was easy. Despite the distraction, my Hurricane Helms, to I believe no surprise, has watched out the victor. Here is your winner. I mean, I don't, I don't care about NASCAR anymore. Excuse me. I'm. There's a commercial for NASCAR. Daytona 500. Because that's the, the, the sometime this month. Oh, Renee Young is on back WWE backstage. <sighs> Adam right. Pierce is. Gets a jobber entrance. No music? Nope. Damn. Well, Paul Heyman probably won't get any music either. They're showing the contract signing from last week. You do know the outcome of the, that signing, right? Yeah, Kevin Owens came out. Or Adam Pierce, like, he said, Oh, I have an injury, and I'm not sure if I will be in fighting shape come Royal Rumble, so I have a backup, and here is my backup, Kevin Owens comes out. Yes. Like, people are gonna... People are probably gonna be mad about that match, because I'm it's really the okay fourth time, but I wanted this. I'm okay with this. Kevin Owens is a really good wrestler. I don't mind seeing him do another championship match. Yeah, in a, per no, in a perfect a, world. That's the thing, though. He is. The program between him and Roman is so good. Yeah. Like, I don't know why people would be upset with it. In a perfect world, though, I wanted it to be Shinsuke. Aw, there's no music for Heyman. He's, he doesn't have a theme song. What do you expect? I wanted him to come out to Brock's music. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he came out to Brock's music. Dun, 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 and he nearly fell burn, off the burn, 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 burn. That's actually what I, that's actually the music I have for him when I do his entrance in Universe mode. <laughs> oh, it's Paul Heyman just mocking Adam Pierce. Does he have a crutch with him? No, but every time he goes Damn. up the step, he's pretending that his right leg is... And I was saying that because when he did his, again, street fight ah. with Mr. McMahon, he had a crutch with him. Heyman said, card subject to change. <laughs> so it's going to be Roman versus Adam Pierce. Oh boy. 
So basically, it was Heyman baiting him. It, that makes me sad. <laughs> I and wanted to see Heyman and Adam Pierce duke it out. <laughs> this isn't what I paid for. But it's free television. This isn't what I paid for. <laughs> And look who we got out here, ladies and gentlemen, the former heavyweight champion, Alistair Black and Diamond Dallas Page. Black Diamonds reunite once again. Superman punch to Pierce. Alistair Black last Thursday used his rematch clause against Chris Jericho and came up short, ended up tapping out to that Kimura lock that Chris Jericho has used to finish off many competitors. And now here he is with Demon Dallas Page. Demon Dallas. Oh, Pierce stopping Roman from getting the steel steps. And a low blow by Roman. Mm. Roman throws Pierce over the barricade, and he partially hit the. Uh, LED boards for the fans. <laughs> Throwing him into another LED panel of the fans. And here is the enforcer, Arn Anderson. Old double A. And, the sh and behind, falling behind him, the shooter. I'm Dean Malenko. To come and save Adam Pierce. We've seen Dean Malenko put on many good performances in WCW. Arn Anderson has not participated in many matches. But here he is against a top star. The two joining forces, perhaps, we'll see in the coming weeks how they mesh together. Yep. There's Kevin to save Adam Pierce. I knew it was... Inevitable that KO had to save Pierce. High knee by Alistair. The power struggle getting Arn in the corner. Oh, big clothesline. Reversing the flapjack. He went ribs first onto the top rope. With a stun gun. Big knee by Alistair. Super kick by KO. Sunner! Orn Anderson gonna work the arm now. Stun the world. As a stomp to the wrist. Was him over for an early cover. Might be a little too early. Yep, barely even a one. It's not too often in WCW one-on-one -on -one matches that you no, see the... No, don't! Don't stop! K Sammy! Yeah, Sammy! What are you doing? Why are you out here? Sammy Zayn? Yeah! Why is he out here to cool KO down? Oh, right, because he and Roman are aligned. Right. Sammy and Roman aren't aligned. They're kind of aligned. When? I forget the exact program. Uh, yeah, actually, because Sammy's basically trying to suck up to Roman. Oh. Uh, there's a rope break there after that dead live German. Stunner! It's fine. It gives us an excuse to hang. Yeah, true. Bicycle knee strike. Down goes the enforcer. I'm making Arn Anderson and oh. Dean Malenko an actual tag team, by the way. Pop a power bomb. Eh, you don't care. <laughs> Shot to the gut by Alistair. Was gonna go with the double knees in the back. Arn was out of the way. There's a discus knee strike though. 
Oh, I, don't I know cannot where. wait for this last man standing match, dude. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It is last man standing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, KO with the steel steps! Do it, Kevin! And this is really great. <laughs> Are you calling oh. action on another show while this is going on? The... It's Black a... Mass! Easy win for Alistair. You know, SmackDown's over. Okay. <laughs> that was the end. KO just beating down on Roman. Sounds like a good way to end. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I am sports entertained. Sports entertained. Now you can watch some real wrestling. What? That's how my brother says it. Sports entertained. I was thoroughly sports entertained. I... Okay, I'm going to do a prediction for this one. We're going to start a prediction. Meow. Yeah. Ricky Garcia. Hey, Ricky. I think you can only do uh, two choices. Ah, oh, that's right. Goddamn. Okay, wait, hold on. Um. Oh, we can just Left, do a poll. Half, right, half. Yeah, I'll just do a pull. You could just do left half, right half. So, someone from the left half of the screen is going to win, someone from the right half of the screen is going to win. Okay, so... Six Pack Challenge. You are eliminated when you are pinned or submitted. Last man in the ring gets a shot at the Heavyweight Championship at Halloween Havoc in two months. We've got... Eddie Guerrero. We've got Rey Mysterio. We've got I Kenny Omega. More specifically, I'm thinking it's either Liger or Omega. Got Jushin Liger. Elias. And I actually can't Okay, yeah, fuck it. Never mind. We're doing this. <laughs> Kenny Omega! From left to right. Kenny Omega, Jushin Thunder Liger, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, Elias, and Brock Lesnar. Yeah, there you go. But I can't put it in the predictions. I can only have five. So. Master it. You, like I, I really... said, for predictions, you could just do left half, right half. Well, I'll do it in the future. You could just, like, start the prediction and just have it two predictions, left half, right half. You know what, Pixel? I don't think I want you here anymore. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> wow. Ricky Garcia going with the left half. All right. But no, like I said, I'm thinking Liger or Omega. I started to say Okada, and then I remembered Omega. Everyone was a winner at the end of the day. <laughs> well... No, I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works. Alright, I'll, I'll let it go on for like five minutes, because the entrances are going to be really long. There we go. Also, oh, this is the first time I've ever made a prediction as well, so we'll see how this works. I'm not and coming out first is Eddie Guerrero. I'm not gonna have a gambling addiction. <laughs> Well, 
Well, I'm like 95% sure someone from the left side was going to win. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee anything. Gamble. Gamble, Pixel. You know you want to. <laughs> no, I don't. All right, Eddie Guerrero, the former television champion, lost the TV title to Pete Dunne. Now here he is vying for a shot at the heavyweight championship. First one out. And coming out next is the master of the 619. From our boys down in San Diego, Rey Mysterio coming out here. The biggest little man in all of professional wrestling. No, no, bad, bad, <laughs> bad. bad. If Brock Lesnar was on the left half, I would guarantee left side. <laughs> and coming out like next. That's, that's the only one I'm scared of on the right side. Yeah. And the former heavyweight champion, Jushin Liger. Actually, Ray and Jushin, both former champions. Actually, it's not R-A-Y, it's R-E-Y for Ray Mysterio. That version of Ray means king, R E Y, I believe. That's what my friend told me. Hmm. Ooh, right. now I've got the Hornet tempered revolver for Rust, which I never play. Hmm. Because my laptop is garbage. Lighter looks like a Power Ranger wannabe. Hey, how dare you? <laughs> Not that. Not You know, if it wasn't Hurricane versus Liger at the beginning, uh, Liger would have easily... If Hurricane wasn't in Universe Mode, Liger would have been my favorite. <laughs> Liger would have been the one I constantly stand. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 <laughs> the endless rivalry of Hurricane and Liger. Where will it go next? <laughs> It's your first time seeing Liger. If it's your first time seeing Liger, uh, I'd recommend you watch some of his actual matches. He's really good. He's retired now, though. It's funny, because Ricky's not the first person to call him uh, Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> a power ranger. I play as him sometimes against my brother and my uncle, and they'll say, like, fucking power ranger over here. But there's the Drifter Elias. The Drifter actually took on Togi Makabe last Thursday for that IWGP Heavyweight Championship. And here we go. You already know who's coming out next. Brock you already Lesnar? know. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Jack from The Incredibles. Excuse me? Jack Jack from The Incredibles? No, you're so stupid. <laughs> from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 200. The cleaning lady from Family Guy? That's not. No. <laughs> Kenny Omega, dumbass. <laughs> the cleaner. Jack Jack? Is that Ice Guy? I forget. No, it's the baby ja of the Par family. Yeah. And coming through the smoke. The star of Incredibles 2. <laughs> He's got the like pyro. Le like, legitimately. He's got the penis tattoo. Jack Jack. I wouldn't have really cared all that much for Incredibles 2. We're just gonna gloss over the penis tattoo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't, if you're talking about the one on 
his front, those are brass knuckles. Oh, I know. <laughs> Why'd you call it a penis tattoo? Because it's funny, and I'm funny, and you should laugh at my jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Huge main event here. I don't know why Stone Cold did that. The main event, and here we go. That just seems like it'd be an absolute mess. Gonna be lots of action to call Juice and Lightning. Oh, or, no, Eddie taking Juice and Lightning to the corner. That's an arm drag. And Elias taking Lesnar to the outside there. Meanwhile, Kenny and Rey Mysterio are doing their business. Carrying Rey like luggage. There's a backbreaker. Oh, he's not done yet, though. Another one! Trying to break the Cruiserweight Legend in half. Lesnar Elias trading blows there in the corner on the outside. Shot to the gut. And there goes Ray and Kenny to the outside as well. And of course, the amount of men in this match. There are no holds barred. You can do anything, anything goes. No rope breaks either. It is all you can do. And we, there goes Eddie and Jushin to the outside now. The ring is just completely empty. No, there goes Ray back in there. And Zaguri by Ray on the outside. DDT to Brock Lesnar. And Jushin sending Eddie into the announcer's table. Monkey flip by Ray. You know what would be an absolute pain? Huh? If you were an editor and, uh... You, and this is just all hypothetical. If you were an editor and you had to edit down to where it was always a, uh, just like a cut of the, it was just cutting to the matches, and then you had the mu you edited in, edited in the music of the wrestlers and yada yada yada. That's what oh, I wanted to do originally, but that's too much work. Yeah, I like three hours because I, I gotta find the music, I gotta download it, I gotta split it to where it fits the entrance. It's so I can't do it. You gotta overlay it to uh uh be less audible than our voices, but then more audible than than the crowd. Just the yeah. Oh, springboard to Juice and Lightning with a springboard drop kick to Eddie. Focusing back on the action now. Kenny Omega taking Ray by the head, head first into the apron. And there's a skull tap with his knee. Ray is fast. Ray is indeed fast, Ricky. You are correct. Oh, Romero special on Brock. And to I mean, Elias. Is, German suplex. He is the smallest wrestler in this match. Indeed. Oh, Kenny. With Elias on the shoulders. One. Winged Angel to Elias. One. Brock, two. Brock has a crimson mask. He's busted open there. Elias kicking out of the one-winged angel. Impressive. That raspberry jam oh. just gushing from his forehead. And the three amigos to Rey Mysterio. We all know how far back the history between Ray and Eddie goes. Double foot stomp to the ribs. Ray Mysterio keeping Eddie grounded. There's a jawbreaker. How, how closely are they related again? Pretty close. It's like, aren't they like cousins or something? Yeah, they might as well be, if not. Man, Brock Lesnar carrying Kenny like luggage. Oh, but Kenny escapes the hold. And sending him right into the steps. What is going on here in the corner? Huge arm breaker by Eddie. And it's time. Eddie for the top rope. Frog splash. Oh, he missed. Kenny got in the way. Oh, and now Brock Lesnar has the sights on Eddie. Breaking him right across the knee. You're right, Ricky. This is crazy. And oh my god, now Lesnar's going to the top rope! Oh, but Eddie rolls out of the way. <laughs> Eddie was, Brock was about to hit that, 
shooting star. Oh, wait a minute. Liger's down. Oh, Eddie got him. Eddie from the top rope. Hurricane wanted to Brock Lesnar. And there's the drift away by Elias, but Eddie broke up the pin. Got cut out. The only thing I'm finding on the relation is uh, Dominic and uh, Boom! the Crucifix Powerbomb ladder match for. Uh, Maybe they aren't related. They're really close, regardless. Yeah, like. Oh, Eddie! What is this? Go! Oh! 619 to Jushin! Oh, but Jushin rolls out of the way! And Eddie, from the top! Elias catches him! Right down to the mat! Bodies are everywhere! Brock's got Elias. Elias breaks the hold. Big knee strike! Now focusing back on Ray. Face Buster! Elias is busted open! Aiden English married into the Guerrero family. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. There's Kenny to the top rope. Kenny with a superplex to Rey Mysterio. Lesnar trying to find the opponent. Oh, wait. Liger, Liger bomb to Eddie. Liger bomb to Eddie. Big knee strike to Elias from the top rope. The ref got taken down. F5. But the ref is down, Brock. Oh, wait. He's getting back to his feet. One, two, three, four. And Elias is the first one eliminated. The man we know as Rey Mysterio is, he's called Rey Mysterio Jr., but that's because his uncle... Whoa, what's happening to the ring? <laughs> what's happening to the ring? Okay, we're fine. What was that? Oh, Kenny. Look at what he's doing to Rey over there. Kenny Omega with a superplex to the outside! But yeah, uh, Ray gets the junior from his uncle. Moving to a girl, right? No, Ray Mysterio. I, I don't know the family tree, man. I don't know. Ray Mysterio's uncle is Ray Mysterio Sr. Oh, blocks the frog splash, Kenny. Off the ropes. Tries to go low, take out the legs, but Ray caught him. So it's his father wasn't a wrestler, but his uncle was. Oh, okay. Rolling fireman's carried by Kenny. His uncle taught him how to wrestle, oh. and he. Oh, is last wish. He currently has. Kenny kicks out. The, he took the family name of Ray Mysterio. Oh, okay. Liger, we're going for the Liger bump. Ray stops him, though. There's an SDF over there on Brock Lesnar by Eddie. I can agree with this. According to ESPN, Mysterio is widely regarded as the greatest cruiserweight in pro wrestling history. One of. He, he's definitely top five. Probably even top three, because, like, yeah. everyone knows him. It's Eddie and Brock in the ring right now. What's gonna happen? Wrestling takedown by Brock. I wonder, will this be reminiscent of WrestleMania? Powerbomb. Gonna go for that right. trifecta. There's number two. And three. The cover on Eddie. One. Two. No, Eddie kicks out. Was it WrestleMania 19? They did have a match, didn't they? Lesnar and Eddie. 
Yeah. Because the and then Eddie became uh, memory. undisputed champion. Is oh, the Brock lock. The Brock lock on Eddie. Both is Eddie gonna tap Eddie. out? And uh, no, Eddie escapes. Chris Benoit became champ. Eddie, became now was not the time to pose. Now was not the time to pose, Eddie. Oh boy. Oh, now six one nine. Six one nine to Brock Lesnar. But Lesnar rolls away. Oh wait, he got Eddie for Dragon Rana. One, two, three. There goes Eddie. Rey Mysterio eliminating Eddie Guerrero with the Dragon Rana super kick to Rey. The only one from the left side that I did not think was going to. Who keeps calling it? Stop. Possibly win. Okay. Kenny, with three on the shoulders. Electric chair, German! One, two, three, and there goes Ray! Final three! Lesnar, the final Kenny, three I and Jushin! Saito suplex by Jushin! Brock Lesnar has been leaking a lot of fluid this whole match! Laga going crazy with the strikes as an uppercut! From behind, Kenny Omega, Irish whip into the corner. Back exposed. Oh no! Laga's about to feel the pain! One! Winged! Angel! Jushin could be out! One! Two! No! Jushin kicks out! Oh, backbreaker! The. Electric chair driver. In uh, 2K20 is much better than the one in 2K19. Okay. Oh, it now it's Brock's does turn. The right pin that Kenny would do with it. Oh, never mind. Could have been it. My question is, why doesn't the electric chair driver from the where you get him from the corner not do that? The pin know. where you grab their leg, because that's how Kenny does the pin. Yeah. It's down to Kenny and Liger in the ring right now. Lesnar on the outside resting. Which, also, after you played Mortal Kombat on stream, I was, in my head, I was thinking, today I learned Kenny Omega's knee is called the B-Trigger after Mortal Kombat. You mean Street Fighter? Oh! Romero special! My, Romero my special brain. to Kenny! Is Kenny gonna my tap brain out? just didn't think there. Romero special just taking on many people! And Kenny gives up! The final two! Lesnar and Liger! The final two! <laughs> Did not expect this turnout! I expected it to be Liger and Omega. German! You're gonna learn today, Liger! You're gonna learn today what the beast can do! Oh, wait a minute! Wrist clutch! Choke hold! Lesnar, do not tap out to this! Do not let it end this way! Let it end this way! Snapmare! Why am I actually kind of rooting for Lesnar? <laughs> no, bad. Then no one's going to hold the WCW world title ever again. <laughs> oh, Tequila Sunrise! Tequila Sunrise! Is this going to take him out? Is this going to do it? Brock Lesnar loses! Liger yes! wins! Liger was honestly going to be my pick from the beginning. Liger's going to Halloween Havoc! At Halloween Havoc, it will be Jushin Liger versus Chris Jericho for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. What great action no. we've had tonight in this main event. Yep. 
I was right to pick left half as well. Yup. <laughs> I was scared because it was Brock Lesnar left. And no one voted in the prediction, so it didn't even matter. <laughs> Well, I just closed the prediction. Yeah. Did I close this it yet? Left does... half. Choose outcome? Well, yeah, I guess left half. There you go. Complete. Yeah, there you go. Whoa! Zero channel <laughs> points were distributed! I didn't even make a reward. <laughs> if I had put up a reward, would you have voted then? Because okay. I wasn't confident because Brock was on the right side. Where's my pen at? If Brock was on the left side, then I would have put all of my channel points in. <laughs> Man, that was a good match. Okay. And if he was on the left side... <laughs> The final three was Kenny Omega, Jushin Liger, and Brock Lesnar. The final I would have three. Been guaranteed. Okay, so confirmed. Halloween Havoc. Chris Jericho versus Jushin Liger. Jushin looking for his second heavyweight championship. He was the first ever. All right. Can he do it again? And then he lost it to Tiger Mask. No, he lost it to Hurricane first, and the Hurricane lost it to Ray, oh. and then Ray lost it to Okada, and then Okada lost it to Tiger Mask. I think that's how it went. And then Tiger lost it to Joe. Joe lost it back to Hurricane. I have I have championship history. Let me. I'll look at. Up in a second. Nah, don't worry about it. Just no, nah, I still want to look. Get... Let's see. I have to go to Google Docs. Right. <sighs> okay. So what's uh, going on here? Using the other strike in the book, Mike Austin distracted the Hurricane's attention and left him wide open for an attack from his opponent. The superstar is picking up an advantage by preying on his opponent, focusing too much on their upcoming match. Right? And now we head to Thunder. What do we got here? Keep that main event. I need to... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep it. Keep it. Yeah, you know, yeah, why not? Alright, Jericho, Rob Van Dam. No. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh, I... The reason why I was like, whoa, is because I could get all three versions of 21. Nice. In Legends. <clears throat> 21 good, 21 evil, and 21 uh, base. Mm. The human form. What are you doing? I'm on crushing a can. You're on crushing a can. Yep. Alright then. Alright, we need to pick a number one contender for the TV championship, so we'll do Finley versus... Mm. That's not what Oob looks like. <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure you've made him too tall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no. They didn't make him too tall. Surprisingly. Excuse me. I can do that too, you know. It's a burp. I can do that too, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um... Phew. 
future adventure. Oh, okay, that's actually good. Mm -hmm. Versus Sabu. You know, Dragon Ball really do be out here making a ton of waifus that everyone lusts over. <laughs> Toa. You're not wrong. Twenty one. Chilai. That's <laughs> good. I don't care about the fighters storyline. Just give me good twenty one. Finley versus Sabu. What? My one-armed angel. Good Android 21. Versus R-Truth. My one-armed warrior. Future Gohan. This is one where I will grind and grind and grind to get. I require my boy. <laughs> All right. Before I forget, we do need a women's match here, so we need. Cool. Okay. Oscar beat Nikki Cross. Awakening. We'll do Bolnakano versus Bailey tonight. Shut up and take my chrono crystals. Huh? One thing I will not do is pay for uh <sighs> microtransactions. I will not do. I'll buy a thing to try and get God Vegeta Zenkai awakened to level two, hopefully. He's not going to get to level two. God dang it. We're going to have Chris do a self promotion. Then he'll go into his match with Rob Van Dam. Chris, I thought you said wrist. What? Why? Would. What? I don't know. <laughs> just, just go with it. Okay, I won't do Paul Hammond in the main event, but I will give Paul Hammond a match tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you go in forever, box. What does that mean? You go in forever, box. I don't know what that means. You go in forever, box. Uh huh. It means you go into a coffin! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's still not good! How did you not know that? I've never heard that phrase used before! What do you th What do you think I was meaning when I said forever box? I don't know, just the box that I'm in forever? Like an actual cardboard box? A coffin is a forever box. Yeah, I, I guess so it is now. Also, I only have a billion Zenny and Legends. Only a billion? Aw, oh, poor you. I'm not saying that as if it's impressive. I'm saying that <laughs> as... I'm pretty sure to the people who play, like, non-stop... I'm poor. <laughs> you have zero. Because uh, I don't play. Yeah. You have zero. Alright, there's not really any tag team matches tonight. That's okay. 
All right, we got Finley versus Sabu to decide who will face Pete Dunne next week for the television championship. We have Pete Dunne, the television champion, versus R Truth. Bullet Connor versus Bailey in the second round Gold Rush tournament match. Bam Bam versus Cassie Sono. Paul Heyman versus Montez Ford. And then Chris Jericho versus Mike Awesome. Another future menace. Okay. I'm going to start the show while I go get a bottle of water, which is literally right there, so I'm not even going to turn my mic off. <laughs> I have like two whole bottles of water here. I got one because I forgot I had the other one already. Dad? Goku departed this world at the hands of a fatal heart disease. <clears throat> Half a year later, two demons appeared in the southern islands and killed Piccolo. Vegeta, Yamcha, Tien, and Krillin also died in the battle. This is a story of another future, where everything fell into the deepest level of dread at the hands of two androids. Thirteen years have passed since then. I can't stand it anymore! We can't just let the androids do whatever they please! I still don't know what you're doing. Please, you're Gohan! About. Let me do more intensified trainings! Trunks, their power is beyond your imagination. I know! I... And I'll fight them with everything I have! Why? What are you doing? I'm reading the story. Do you need to read it out loud? <laughs> yes, because Fuck. I'm reading it to you. I don't want to hear it, though. Hmm? Look over there, Trunks. I guess that doesn't matter. I see them. He's anime. <laughs> He's animating. <laughs> He's monologuing, despite the fact I'm just powering up. Oh, it's you two again. Oh my god. I was in such a good mood until now. He's still oh, going. Team. Let's hurry up and clean this up. He's still going, guys. Trunks, stay back. What? I have to do the story. <laughs> I'm not saying it's it came to the story. Inspired by law. Inspired. God damn it. Making his way to the ring from Belfast, Northern Ireland. But I was doing voices and all that. Uh huh. There's a woman right there in the front row that really likes Finley. Took a picture of him right as he passed by. Yep. Maybe she was saying Kumbaya, my lord. Why would she be saying that? Because. Alright, well here is the Belfast ah, Bruiser. I, I couldn't do Stardust Punisher. I think that's what it's actually called. Right? That's what Gucci I think. does. Ultimate movie. And his Because in Xenoverse, it's called Soul Punisher. The suicidal, homicidal, genocidal, maniac, Sabu. You brat. Oh. You brat. Ugh! Having a good time? Darn it. Trunks. All right, here we go. Ah. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Oh, in the cover. One, two. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. <gasps> Hurricane Rana in the cover for the win. You're not getting away. <laughs> Finley wasn't getting away. <laughs> what was any of that? Sabu's gonna take on Pete Dunn then, okay! I hope Pete Dunn's paying, paid attention! <laughs> Better watch out for that! You're our last hope. <sighs> to be continued. Oh, I only get trunks? 
That might have actually been faster than Monami versus Aja. Because at least Monami put up a little bit of a fight. Finley just fucking crumpled. Trunks, what happened? Gohan protected me. Oh, okay. Quickly, get him to a bed, and we need to call a doctor. Healed with the Sensu Beam, Trunks takes the severely wounded Gohan back to Bulma. After barely hanging on to his life, Gohan starts training with Trunks. However... I didn't know the, that there was an city. airing of Dragon Ball Z at the same time as Nitro. Those That's, androids, I mean, the they same finally time as Thunder. made it to this city. If this is, see, this I'll is what happens. This time. See, what you do ah! is you set up two TVs, right? And on one, you have Thursday Night Thunder. And on the other, you have the new episode of Dragon Ball Z. And that's what it sounds like. <laughs> that's what this sounds like. Jake. <laughs> this is the history of Trunks. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a movie. I know. Go on. In that state, you'll... Trunks. You stay here. Got it? I won't drag you down this time. I want to fight. Next oh my to God. you, Gohan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Trunks, you're our last hope. If you die, the Earth will have no more warriors left to defend you. The last I don't know, that guy John over there, he's pretty strong. He can do it, right? Might manage to defeat the angel. Gohan? So you're still alive, huh? You won't get away this time. You're going all out, and you will die. I'll never die. Even if you destroy my body, another carrying my will shall rise. To Stay defeat you heartless androids. All right. Who wants the Who wants the, any guesses on how long this match is gonna last? Maybe three minutes, two seconds. <laughs> Ends up taking like five hours. Oh my god, that'd be so. Oh. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. The way we're going, we probably won't get through the whole two weeks. All eyes on me. Alright, this must look really awkward without actual sound for you guys, so I'm just gonna skip it. I think you get to hear our truth, but that's it. <laughs> I don't remember though. I haven't watched back our truth's entrance on a stream. Alright, our truth with a bit of the power game right now, getting Pete done against those ropes and in the corner. Oh, the ref almost got caught there, that one. Real power struggle between these two. Ah, uh, my team, only 2 million. Big close down in the corner. 17 and 18, who have like 700. Mm. Thousand attack. Be done gonna attack the arm now. So great at attacking limbs. There's the forearm blocked. Our truth. Oh, the gourd buster. Our truth and his partner Bob Rude have been getting a lot more stream time recently. Taking on Tajiri in the recent weeks. Bob Rude fell victim last week already. No, what is this? Bulldog to Pete Dunn. Our truth and Bobby Rude, though, though they have been featured a lot more recently, they have not picked up very many wins. Go but have had a very strong showing. I can't and there's turnbuckle him. smashes. 
A signature move here in WCW for Arrow, the wrestlers. I can't sense his key. Because he's dead. Go on. This can't be real. Go real. on. Oh, rolling Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Now, see, if you were actually streaming, that would actually be a little less annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you do that whisper yelling. I hate when people do that. I, it's one of those things where I was trying to do a voice yell, but I can't do it with oh, gosh. how I was doing Trunks' voice. So it just cut out and <laughs> cut my yell. So, it, so I accidentally did that quiet yell. Pete Dunn there was nibbling on the fingers of R-Truth. I wonder how that latex glove tastes. Big DDT. So I wasn't trying to do a quiet yell. No, I, I get it. <laughs> also, if anyone wants to buy an Animal Crossing hoodie off of me, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram if you want. <laughs> it's 40 bucks. It's an XL. Flavender. I already read this. <laughs> Gohan was killed in, a, in an attempt to take on the androids by himself. Fueled by anger and anguish, Trunks transforms into a Super Saiyan. It's all from my Pete Darts. Hey, Trunks, the time machine is just charged Recover. up for a round trip. Only one count. Mom, I think I could defeat the androids as I am right now. There's no need to go to the oh. past to look for a way. Oh, true, the big reversal. Off the arm trap DDT. There's the lie detector. Are you still thinking like a child? Have you already forgotten how Gohan was killed three years ago? Can I beat them back into the ring? The difference between Gohan back then. Our truth looking for the finish. There we go, little Jimmy! Mmm! Androids are now wreaking havoc in the southern part of the West He done kicks out. That's close by. I'm going. I will defeat them. When did History of Trunks come out? Wait a second. Trunks, stop! Ninety-three. Oh, cool. So it's actually accurate to the time. <laughs> it would have been on at the same time as Thunder. Go on. Xbox. Today's the day I take revenge. Just you wait, androids. One, two. Our truth kicks out of the Xplex. Let's go home. Yeah. Androids! Today's the day I make. Today's it's the day time. you pay. I'm taking For the bitter the end! Go One, two, three. You know, I'm trying my best to do a decent trunks voice. Mm -hmm. Even though I know it's not that great. <laughs> All right, next match of the night, Bolicano versus Bailey. Asuka is already confirmed for the semifinals. We'll see who she'll take on. Well, no, based on how I'm trying, how would you rate my uh, trunks voice? It's decent.
Because he has that more forced voice. Yeah. So I'm trying to get that similar. Ugh. It's called puberty. <laughs> I mean, why why haven't Trunks and Goten hit puberty yet, even though they're like 17, 18 and super? <laughs> Because anime. Actually, no. It makes sense because Goku was fourteen in Dragon Ball, so actually, they would still be. You know, I never thought about it until now. It is actually maintaining within the Dragon Ball lore. Yeah, that that's weird. It is actually being right with how it was. Yeah, it's that's weird. Huh? Like I never, no one's ever thought about it through that lens. Making her way to Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What did you say? <laughs> uh, I was like. Like how I was getting on about how Trunks and uh, Goten haven't hit puberty yet, and then I realized actually it's maintaining within the Dragon Ball canon because Goku was 14 at the start of Dragon Ball. Huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and just think, because Goku. Because of how many times Goku's died, Bulma is now eight years older than she was in Dragon Ball. Well, eight years older than Goku, plus however many she was already older than him. I think it was like two years. Anyone else think it looks like a flesh jacket Bailey is wearing right there? No, I think I'm thinking of bats. It looks kind of like a flesh jacket. I don't like it. <laughs> it, do it does not remind me of muscles at all. <laughs> also, 2K and their jiggle physics. The ultimate jiggle physics. Don't think that's how that's supposed to work, considering it's you know compressed. It's supposed to be compressed. Compressed. All right, here we go. Bull Nakano. Oh boy, the mighty bull. This roundhouse kick to the head. Got Bailey by the hair. In like, the corner. I would have like the fact that they added jiggle physics makes no sense. Hurricane like, Rana is going to be a pit. The... No, okay. This is one of the few games where jiggle physics does not make sense whatsoever. For any reason. Unless it's like your wrestler's got a gut that's hanging over their waist, there should not be any jiggle physics. <laughs> I just think jiggle physics in general in a wrestling game doesn't really make sense. I mean, it does because, like, you know, realism, but it's really hard to code, and, you know, just with different model types, it probably wouldn't work very well to put in the game. Example, this game. Oops. Stuff that's supposed to be compressive still has the swaying. Yeah. And it's not even Bailey jiggle with the arm physics, bar. it's uh, swaying physics. Yeah, it's really not even much of a jiggle, it's just movement. It, it's just left and right movement. It's not up and down. <laughs> Which is what would happen. Short arm clothesline by Bull. Oh, rolls out of the roundhouse. Big clothesline takes down Bull Nakano. And Bailey's going to the top rope. Elbow to the back! One. Two. No, only a two count. 
Kick to the back. Bonacano just absorbs the pain. Close down on the outside. There goes Bailey. Also, if you were told in 2020 that you would be having a conversation about jiggle physics in a wrestling game, I believe would it. Would you believe it? Yeah, <laughs> of course I would. <laughs> There's actually a lot of really good indie wrestling games that are coming out pretty soon. There's the Wrestling Code, there's Retromania. I still want to get Fire Pro, but I want to get the Ultimate Edition and that's like 70 bucks. I want to get the Ultimate Edition because they have the expansion packs and there's like a stardom pack in there and it's really cool. It has uh, Momo Otanabe, it has uh, Hanakamura is in there. Yep. It's really cool. Uh, I thought that was... I yeah. honestly thought the first person you were going to say would be Hanakamura. Momo Watanabe came to mind because I've been watching a lot of Pulse recently and his favorite stardom wrestler is Momo Watanabe. Her kicks are like fucking insane. Or is she the one who does the Peach Sunrise? I think it's the Peach Sunrise. Ugh. Oh, cross body! Why? One! Why are you androids doing this? Bailey could be looking for the finish now. From Apparently behind! Dr. Us to Rose take Plant! Away. No, Bull reverses it! Nakata! But none of that matters to us. Oh, wait, dropped! Just, and the fists rain down! Just looking at humans is infuriating. We hate humans. They say <laughs> half human. <laughs> I. I won't forgive oh boy. you. Not the Kano! Power done. Bomb! I'll finish you all. Wait. The one to the top. Let me do it. Vintage Bull Nakano coming <sighs> down. Somersault leg drop. Bailey's finished. <sighs> Two. No, she Trunks. kicks out of the somersault leg drop from Trunks. the top rope. It's okay now, Mom. Oh, I'm so glad you were asleep for five days. I'm sorry, Mom. It's just like you said. Stutter! Stutter by Bailey! Way stronger than I am. As soon as my injuries heal, I'll go into the time machine. Axe handle! Axe handle! Bolacado in the corner, there's a shoulder thrust, rolls back! Yeah, that sounds good. Oh! First, go back Body attack! Bolacado stunned! Bailey with the Bailey Plex! Um. About Gohan's dad. Was he Cover. really that strong? One. Two. No, Bolacado kicks out again! Well, yes, he was, but more than that, he, no matter how bad the situation, he always seemed to have a way. Oh my god, Pixel. A way of finding hope. Well, I'm, I'm excited to meet Dad. It's not best to get your hopes up. All right, to your here's the heart medicine. Be sure to give it to Goku, and don't do anything crazy. Oh, I don't think God. I've seen Bailey do this before. Bailey! You stay safe too, Mom. With a sliding See drop you. kick! And so, Trunks boards the time machine and sets off for our timeline. There, a new battle opens. How long is this scene? Oh my God! Just ended. Oh, thank God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> ah! What, do you not like my voice acting? Yeah, that's the problem, your voice acting! That's the problem here, Pixel! Ah! <laughs> 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 Anyway, Bailey, I hope she wins. <laughs> oh, look, a pretty bird. Oh, Android 16? Yes, I am fight. I was fighting Krillin. The <laughs> pretty bird that he is. The <laughs> pretty bird that he is. Shoulder thrust. Remember? Block DDT by Bullicano. 
Remember, because he he quacked and oh uh, yeah, confused sixteen. <laughs> There's the shoulder thrust. Boom. Bailey plugs for a third time. Will that do it? Is the mighty bull down? No, she kicks out again, my god! Who wants it more? To the top! Bailey! With the elbow drop! Do! Oh, right going through the to heart of Bull McDonough! Aww. One! Two! Three! Finally! <laughs> Bailey puts down the bull! I will take out this duck. Are you playing as Android 16 or are you fighting Android 16? Yes, I am playing as Android 16. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have successfully destroyed the duck. Hell's Flash! Alright, so confirmed semifinals match. Asuka versus. Bailey. Your seven day free trial of Winmar has explored. Of what? Do you not remember when they destroyed 19? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. There you Excuse go. me. Are you not entertained? Seamus? What? <laughs> Don't you remember when he would say stuff? That he would say that? That wasn't what I was referencing at all. I know, but still, that's what I thought of. <laughs> <laughs> what made you think? Ah, oh, yes, Seamus. Because he would say that. He would! <laughs> Why am I in the wrong for... What is going on? <laughs> because... You're stupid. That's why. Look at this green bird. Look at this I flaming bird. Bam Bam Bigel, that is one huge bird right there. This man's that an ostrich. Bird. This man's an ostrich. I shall self-destruct. I'm going to destroy this green bird. You mean this one right here? No. <laughs> he's green. Just because he's green does not make him the bird I'm going to destroy. Can you destroy him, though? No. Fine. I am already self-destructed. So how are you still talking? Because my head survived the explosion. Someone stomp it. No. No! Oh my god, I hate you. You didn't think I was going to transition, did you? I'd rather you just not do that. <sighs> I need more energy. Take his, please. More. I hate everything. You shouldn't have reminded me. Cassie Sono gonna take on Bam Bam Bigelow. Cassie Sono has been in the corner of Vader in their past few tag team matches. Yeah, oh wait, it's fake future Gohan! Now there is some. Oh! 
These are two some big beefy boys right here. Cassiano, not a small man, but is very agile, as is Bam Bam. Brain Buster by Bam Bam. Boy, big beefy. <laughs> These men, very thick on them. Big Beefy Jr. Big Beef Jr. <laughs> oh, Bam Bam already going to the top row, waiting for Cassiano You're to get back to his feet. you fake future, Gohan. You have an arm. You oh, have Bam two Bam arms. right over him. There's a big boot by Cassius. And a swiping Real kick. Real future, Gohan, only has one arm. Attacks the arm. Oh, speaking of which... <laughs> Over the top rope goes Bam Bam. Blocks the chop. There's the right. And another. And another. Wait. Ducked. Cassius. No, there's a chop to the chest. Or for the count of four. That rolling forearm did nothing. Bam Bam still standing. Throw back into the ring. Bam Bam using the ropes as leverage, trying to get back to his feet. Cassie is helping him out there. Another huge forearm. Bam Bam not feeling the effects quite yet. There's a cover. Only one count. This is the crossbody. There's a quick jab. Off the ropes. Here it comes. Misses the pump kick. From behind. Bam Bam. With the side, you know, suplex. <laughs> Why is yours more disturbing? <laughs> because I was trying to make it more disturbing. <laughs> Close lane by Cassius. Oh, off the ropes, Senton coming in! Have you have you ever seen those videos where the dog owners just like grab their mouth while they're doing ah, and it just makes them go ah, ah, ah. I have. <laughs> it's very disturbing. It's, it's a position that casts Bam Bam in. Using his own it's arms hilarious. to choke him out. How do I... Good. I don't want. In the corner, is the forearm. Down goes Bam Bam. I want Off the ropes again, another senton. I want true future Gohan. True future Gohan. Oh, I was gonna go with the Gorilla Slam. Cass has reversed it, and I'm from behind. Turns him around. Off the ropes. Only has one arm. There's the pump kick, and it lands. Fake future Gohan has two arms. Only a one count though. Bam Bam kicking out with ease. Unless it's Gohan prior to the explosion. Then it's true future Gohan. But if he has two arms and has the scar, DDT. it's fake future Gohan. Another huge senton. Cassie Sona using his whole body as a weapon. Now cranking the neck. Cranking it, cranking it. Cover. One. Two. Only a two Told count. boy crank that? <laughs> that is a huge clothesline. Modified STF. For some reason, that gets DMCA'd. <laughs> Dude, just saying the word. Soldier Boy wants your money. Joke's on you, Soldier, Soldier Boy. Boy. I don't have any like money. A word with you. Joke's on you, Soldier Boy. I don't have any money. It turns out just saying his name gets a DMCA. Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy. Do it, Twitch, I dare you! Oh god! Cass is blocking the flaming ringmaker. Be the record label, actually. <laughs> oh, Cassius. 
What's going on here? They'd, they'd be Over like, the top rope, right. sends on Yo, the outside! Get this bitch out here. Kaisen on diving over the top rope, and now on the outside, with that knockout blow! And a stomp for good measure! Get back in that ring, bam bam, you big son of a bitch, I swear to god. Big boot! <laughs> you kinda cut out for me at when you were saying big, and then you cut out, and then I <laughs> all I hear is, I swear. <laughs> One, two, oh, bam, 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 out. You big I swear. That's what it sounded like on my end. <laughs> Cassius rolls to the outside. Oh, boy. Under the corner goes big low. Blocks the forearm. Turns him around. Flaming Rainmaker! Haven't seen Ben Ben pull that off in quite some time. One, two, three. One of my favorite field trips that I remember from having as a child was we went to a college and, uh, there, Mike, Mike. Oh, hey, Dylan. Hello, you've been doing was the last time to turn in credit months ago. But, uh, one of the field trip we went on, uh, we went to a college and they dipped a rubber ball into, uh. You're gonna get kicked out? Probably. I've been focusing more on trying to get a job. Like, the entire last six months I've been applying like crazy, and I got, like, one interview at a whole year. So, school right now isn't the most important thing to me. But, uh, they dipped the ball into liquid nitrogen, threw it against a wall. The ball shattered, of course. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I have a piece of that rubber ball that I believe they gave us. <laughs> you still have it? Yes! It's in my <laughs> hand right now! <laughs> you got a license yet? Not yet. How am I gonna get a car if I don't have any money, Dylan? Try to answer that question yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fact is fact. Sorry to upset all of you, but your former champ is no longer here. I beat him so badly in our match that he's gone into hiding out of shame. That's what all of you get for believing in a pathetic excuse of a superstar like him. Talking about Alistair Black, god damn, Jericho. Tell us how you really feel about him. Some find it rewarding to see others succeed. I find it rewarding to always be on the top. So pipe down already, and let me show you your new daddy. Oh, that is not... no. Uh, Why do you have a car before uh, you? You need to get your shit together. You don't... how do you... well, you know how to drive. That's different. Plus, I would need a license to buy a car first. And I'm aware of the mess I am, so it's alright. WCW is my blood. Is that what you want me to say? Ha, my blood is royal, and I don't see anything about the fools in the back. Now stop making noise and blow, bow, blow, <laughs> blow to your new blow champion. Down. Bow to your new champion. Did you hear Miss Johnson is back? Yeah, I got that email. Blow your new champion. Blow your new champion, single file line. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said to me, just be patient, your time will come. Do I look like Nanny? No, I'm a damn champion now. No more patience. Also, you know, Dylan, you have my number. You can text me all this stuff. <laughs> or did you text me already and I didn't see it? Because that's probably the case. I have my phone on silent right now. No, I guess not. 
Alright, I can tell that I'm not properly appreciated here. I can tell that no one realizes just what I've accomplished. Good thing I don't have to just stand here and wait for you pea brains to suddenly evolve. I'm getting the hell out of here and heading back to bed to rest like the king I am. But no, that reminds me of a teacher that my friends had in high school and my friends, I remember how my friends said that they hated her. <laughs> how she was the worst science teacher in the school. Oh my god. Who's the worst teacher I've ever had? You know, I've been lucky enough to have good teachers. I've had some pretty good teachers. Yeah, I play on, on PlayStation. PlayStation. Yep, PlayStation 4. No, if I, I can thought think... you were playing on the PS1. <laughs> it's a port. We went backwards. <laughs> it's evolving. Just, Just backwards. backwards. The Who's the worst teacher I think I had? I won't name her or him, but the worst <sighs> teacher I ever had... Oh, wait. <laughs> Might have been Miss Shields. I just said I wouldn't name her, and I just named her. Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, because what do you mean that sucks? X Xbox Gold is now 120 a year. Excuse me. PlayStation Plus. Yeah, Microsoft changed it to where Gold is now 120 bucks a month, so that they can get you to get Game Pass Ultimate. Hi, why you why you? Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. sixty dollars for six months. <laughs> Sorry for a loss. Well, I'm. The console wars are over, man. No one cares anymore. <laughs> I like PlayStation as it is. I've played on both Xbox and I've played on both the Xbox One and the PS4. Yes. I honestly prefer the PS4. I started on six on 360 and moved over to the PS4. So yeah. But yeah, my my worst teacher was her. She was my science teacher for both seventh and eighth grade. And the reason I say she's the worst is because I felt like she really didn't care all that much. Because she was good. She was a good teacher. She was good at teaching us. But the thing is, whenever like the classroom would act up or something like that, she would stop the class for like a whole five minutes and say. Y'all can listen if you want. I don't care. I still get paid at the end of the day. So like, she made it like about money. Like she didn't care if we were paying attention or not. She all she cared about was like getting her check, which I guess is fine because it's her job. But still, to say that to a whole room, to your whole classroom, that you don't care if they're paying attention or if they're learning, you just care that you get paid at the end of the day. Because regardless, you're gonna get paid. I feel like that's a bit of just like a dick move. I have two teachers I could choose from. I'm not going to name them, well, unlike Jake. I'm sorry. Uh, my kindergarten teacher, she, she had said how uh, in the first few weeks that I wouldn't pass kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go, Bussy. All right, later, Dylan. My Thanks for hanging out. Class to be able to read. <laughs> uh, jump all the way forward to high school. Uh, I was top 25 in my class. <laughs> Man, I really wasn't going to pass kindergarten. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Like... <sighs> Only reason I remember that is because my kindergarten teacher told that straight up to my mom. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It, I would love to see her reaction to me being top 25 in class. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I really misjudged this kid. <laughs> Plus, it's kindergarten. Who? What do you know how to do in kindergarten? That's literally uh, the base count level. From one to ten. That's literally the base level, though. Nobody Say goes into ABCs. kindergarten knowing shit. <laughs> or maybe you do if your parents teach you, which mine did. But like, still, you're a dumb little five-year-old. What do you know? Yeah. 
or my sixth grade reading teacher who was also my seventh grade reading and uh social studies teacher uh she was bipolar as hell mm. like she'd be all sweet and then all of a sudden she's just yelling <laughs> like it, it was one of those things where it was like one second she'd have this real sweet voice and then she'd just be yelling for no apparent reason <laughs> Oh, so this could be is over. Paul Heyman, ladies and gentlemen, competing tonight on Thursday Night Thunder against Montez Ford. So, yeah. that. Other yeah, than that, I a... had really good teachers. Yeah. Like, the, the one I talked about, she was still really... I was a good kid, so, like, none of it was ever... None of that stuff was ever pointed towards me. It's just kind of a general thing. But other than that, she was really good at what she did. She was a really good teacher. So it's nothing about her teaching skills. It's just that what she did was really not good. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember kindergarten, but that's also because I was like five. Yeah. So of course I wouldn't remember. All right, Paul Heyman versus Montez Ford. We don't see Paul Heyman in the ring too often, but Halloween Havoc is coming soon. Russell War is around the corner. You never know. Maybe he wants to get back into fighting shape. And try to win that Russell World Rumble this year. Who knows? This reminds me. Me talking about a field trip also reminds me of another field trip where we went to some farm or whatever. And blocks the spear. What one of the sheep had like ate a bit of my hair, so I got some green wool. I don't know where that is, though. <laughs> that was, like, first grade. <laughs> the rubber ball one was in, like, fourth grade, fifth grade. Montez Ford doing a little bit of a shit. It was fourth grade because I had no field trips fifth grade because they decided to cheap out on us and get a new playground instead. <laughs> Like, it was a yearly tradition for the fifth grade class to go to a specific field trip. And mm. uh, my fifth Three, grade class, four, five, and I think six, the seven, fifth grade eight, class nine, before mine, ten. didn't get to go to that field trip because mm -hmm. the school cheaped out on us. <laughs> oh, I got this clutch here. Clawing at the face of Montez Ford. I should have taken that as a sign to come for my senior year. The, ol the only year I could have had, the only final year of schooling I could have had an actual field trip was 8th grade, which was my end of middle trip. school. Last time I went on a field the trip was for uh, professional skills. I did not care about the final field trip. <laughs> The, the last field trip I went on was a field trip for professional skills. We went to an office, we did a mock interview, and I got a perfect score on it. I did a really good job. I, I interviewed really well. And then I got my first real interview, and I didn't get the job, so... Haha. <laughs> Spinning Stinger Splash by Montez Ford. One. Only a one count. Uh, Drop kick to the back. Paul Heyman was out of the way. Throws Montez into the corner. Warning head start. Gets right in there with a shoulder thrust. No blocks into the DDT. Was it Kings Island? You want to go to Filthy Island? I think my last field trip was actually Kings Island. Filthy Island. In Mason, Ohio. Yeah, I, One, I'm like 99% sure my last field trip was to Kings Island. I don't know where that is, but awesome. Oh, dropkick by Paul. it's an amusement park. Oh, nice. Roller coasters, that's all you need to know. Oh. Jawbreaker by Montez. Kick to the gut. DDT, coming in. Dropping Paul right in his head. Back elbow by Montez. 
Paul Heyman's in the corner. There's the boot. Gets the boot up from behind. Paul Heyman with the elbow across the chest. What a maneuver. Oh. Only a one count. <laughs> oh, that elbow looked a little low. That elbow looked a little low there, ref. It was Backdrop driver. It was, it was above the waist. Frog splash! Frog splash to Paul Heyman. I watched it on the replay one, on our screens two. here. Two and a half Montez Ford almost beat Paul Heyman. He almost beat Paul E. On the short oh. delay. Oh, I thought I was going for the curb stomp. There was not any uh connection to the pelvis region. Oh, here we go. Stump puller. Connection power driver. Below where you do a pelvic sneeze. Ew. I will never forget that phrasing. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> pelvic <laughs> sneeze. If you know, you know, but Yuck. clearly Jake doesn't know. No, I don't think I want to. Cool. Gross. That's what it's referencing. Montez Ford with another frog splash! This has got to be it! Going to the cover. A little late. One. Two. Three! Pull him and put a Montez Ford over! I mean, he probably hasn't been training in a while. He hasn't been on WCW. That's true. In a bit, so... Probably fell out of training and just... Was at home watching. He's busy on his on his couch eating bonbons. Watching that on well, assume... Unless you have a camera in Paul Heyman's house, which that would be very weird. That'd be very intrusive and illegal. Here is your winner. I don't think it's technically illegal to spy on someone. Huh? It's just unethical. I'd say it's illegal. I don't think it's actually illegal. I think it's just unethical. <laughs> All right, and we get to our main event, Chris Jericho taking on Mike Awesome, who was currently in the running for the United States Championship on Nitro. We'll see how he fares against the heavyweight champion. I'll be right back. All right. I have to pee, but I'll wait until he gets back so that you guys aren't all alone. Don't want to be all by myself. Up like slam. Oh, got it. Okay. Here we go. Chris Jericho has been WCW World Heavyweight Champion for over a month and has already defended it twice against DDP and former champion Aleister Black. And now we know 
after that big six-pack challenge on Monday Nitro that at Halloween Havoc in two months, he will be taking on Jushin Thunder Liger for the gold. The Master of a Thousand and Five Holds will be taking on the first Triple Crown Champion of WCW in the main event of Halloween Havoc. And Chris Jericho with no shortage of confidence as we heard him talk earlier. The king he called himself of WCW. A real champion. And the champ takes on the huge Mike Awesome. The man built like a triangle. As thick as they come. Very sturdy base this man has. It's going to be very difficult for the smaller Chris Jericho to get this man off his feet. A lot of the opponents that Jericho has faced recently have been of equal size. He's going to have a difficult time getting, Mark, getting Mike Awesome to stay down. But who knows what that Kimura lock, that 1,005th hold, is capable of. Penis enlargement pills. Gimme, now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Jericho going for the forearm early on. Mike Awesome reverses it. Gets thrown to the corner there. Bounce off the turnbuckle. Enlargement pills. Oh, hooks the arms. Oh, Mike Awesome reverses it. Big Glariot. I will never forget my favorite moment from Phasmophobia. Uh, when we were walking into high school, and we, and the, we, someone in our group says, "Hey, Ghosty Goo, you want some penis enlargement Big pills?" Power bomb. And then the library door just opens. <laughs> like, Come on in. We got I'll take your whole stock. <laughs> I'll take your entire stock if you just come on in here. <laughs> For sure, I could get down and dirty choking out Mike Awesome. There's the elbow right to the chest. Kick to the back. Like, it could have not... It couldn't have been any more comedic. That, just the timing is impeccable. Off the ropes. It was like oh, legitimately right... After they said it, too. Oh, Jericho's got Mike Awesome for the power bomb. Taste of your own medicine, Mike. Rolls out of that kick. Gets caught. Mike Awesome. The arm hooked suplex. And now on the rest hold. I'm gonna slow it down. I don't know. How, I don't know how they do things up in Canada, but here we're gonna, we're gonna take. We're gonna slow it down. Is it Mike Awesome? Where's Mike Awesome from? Brainbuster by Chris Jericho. One second, I'll look it up. Where is Mike Awesome from? Mike Awesome was Tampa, born Florida. Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Yep. All right, Jericho, Mike Awesome kicking out of the lion's salt. And you already know. It's about oh. damn time. Jericho, the 1,005th hold. Kamura lock applied. One and done. One and done. Come on. Tap out, Mike. Tap out. Tap out, you son of a bitch. No. Mike escapes the Kamura lock. Oh boy. Huge toss across the ring! I honestly didn't remember that. Mike Jericho awesome just about got impaled by the ring post there! I I honestly didn't remember that Mike Awesome had committed suicide. Oh he oh he did? Yeah, in two thousand seven. I didn't even know that. Jeez. Yeah. Oh the comeback. The comeback by Mike. In the corner. Big body block. Off the ropes. Spear! How old was he? 42. 42, wow. Awesome bomb! Mike Awesome saying it's over! 
One, two, Jericho kicks out of the awesome bomb. Oh, there's the elbow. Jericho takes the arm drag. Are you only planning on doing this one week, or are you still going to do the two weeks? I'm going to still do the other week. At least Nitro. Okay. Oh, boy. We've seen Awesome do this before. Taking Jericho up there with him. He's got the gut wrench. Getting ready. Top rope, Awesome Bomb! Because after stream, I have an idea to tell you. Okay. Jericho kicks out of the Awesome Bomb at the top rope! Oh boy. Full head of steam. Go! Oh, huge tidal wave splash! What a vertical leap by Mike Awesome! Forcing Jericho to roll out onto the apron. Mike Awesome is pumped up. He's got the juice tonight. Coming back in. Jericho, what are you. Oh, he's on the outside. Oh, Jericho, rethinking his plans here. He might have been up more than he can chew with Mike Awesome. <laughs> Slamming right his head right into the apron. Go, bar, bar, bar. Jericho's fighting back. Oh, no, there's a jab. Back into the ring goes Jericho. Under the bottom rope. Oh, huge right hook. And another... Awesome bomb for a third time. He's got the stack. But that's a rope break. That's a clear rope break there. That could have been it. He fell into the Liger trap. Big neck breaker. Oh, wait, but he's got another one. It's going to be four. Four awesome bombs in one night. My God. He fell into the trap. Of oh, no. Trying to pin no, he got some speed on that one. Tim Rage, thank you for the follow, man. One, two, my awesome beats the champion. Posture check. Posture check. Oh, I'm doing good. Yeah, actually, I need to set the chair back up. Ah, there we go. For posture check, you could always do. You could always make it where you have to lift up the chair. I mean, the chair is normally the chair is so. I need a new one. Because it's, every, I sit and like my weight pushes it down. So every like ten minutes, I gotta put it back up, and it really hurts my knees. Like. Huh? I don't know what that's like. I... Yeah, because you probably have a what three hundred dollar gaming chair. No. No. What kind of chair do you have? I have a twenty dollar office chair or something. I mean, I'll take that it's, over this. It's one that. It's one that we got from Goodwill. I'll take a Goodwill chair over this. There's a Goodwill no, right down the street from me. I could go any time. But no, uh... Here is your winner, my it's awesome. not... It's not yes, anything Jimmy. other than... I'm pretty sure... I'm, I would be too light to push a chair down because I only weigh like 110 pounds. Hmm. Like, I've got such a high metabolism. <laughs> Alright. Mike Awesome with a huge win over the champion. My god, was not expecting that. The only way I'm gonna put on weight is if I work out. <laughs> Do you wanna work out? Yes and no. I was supposed to get a pair of dumbbells this month, but instead it all went towards clothes. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I, w I want to work out, but it's also, I don't have the room to do it. <laughs> like, if I had a room that I could dedicate to working out, then I could probably do it. But, uh, my room is A, a mess, B, has no space to fit any weights or anything to work out with and see yeah. it's winter <laughs> I'm not going outside to attempt to do workouts 
I go on walks. Yeah, but I you did... live in California. It's cold here where I live, though. Oh, boo-hoo, 45. Mm. It's 17. Well, I'm sorry I don't live where you are, where there's, like, massive snowstorms every five minutes, okay? There's not massive snowstorms where You I know live. what I mean! All right, I live in a here. place where it will snow. Yes. <laughs> All right, so Finley... Like, it was cold enough tonight where I could see my breath. I like that weather. So, Sabu beat Finley in... I swear it was a second. I... <laughs> <laughs> Pete Dunn beat R Truth. Bailey beat Bull Nakano and advances to the semifinals. Bam Bam Bigelow beats Cassius. Montez Ford puts over uh, Paul Heyman puts over Montez Ford. And then Mike Austin beats the heavyweight champion. But no, I will say that's one of my mate. For some reason, that's a major pet peeve of mine, is when someone says, Oh, it's 45 out. It's so cold. It's like, <laughs> you clearly have never been to a place with snow. If you need a jacket for 45, you're a wimp. Chris Jericho like, is going to call out Mike Awesome. A like for me, call. I put on a light jacket, but that's because my jacket makes the cold colder because well, up until I started using my fleece my somewhat fleece jacket. Okay. So a uh, bold move here, we're gonna have a championship match to start off the show. <laughs> no. Ill eagle. Well, you take care of that eagle. I'm gonna put the championship on the line. <laughs> God. Preston, there you go, man. Uh, I'm gonna go take a piss real quick. I'll I'll talk to you in just one minute. I'll bring it back. I'm gonna I'm sorry to do this to you. Actually, I'm gonna run an ad. I haven't run an ad in a while. I'll bring it back. One, two. It's the two minute long ad. Four, I hate you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, <laughs> 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. He wasn't back in a minute. He lied. No, he's not. He don't, He won't know. My face now hurts from smiling, because I was smiling the entire time I was counting there. But how are you doing, Tim?
I came back and there's like 91 messages. What the hell happened? You weren't back in a minute. So I, I was I was counting. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> and Preston was also counting in chat. He's going to kick your butt. Jake is a liar. I'm sorry. Okay. And I asked him if how he was. <laughs> yeah, how was work? Preston. Preston, how was work? They, cause yeah. I don't know. I've seen about. no new. I've seen no new messages. Lovely. All right, Preston. What do you do? What's your job? Do you package pre-popped popcorn? <laughs> That's a really specific ass job. <laughs> bowling alley. Oh, you work at a bowling alley. That's awesome. <laughs> Why is that so funny, Pixel? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's not I'm that having funny. an existential crisis as to why you went that specific. <laughs> it's not that funny. I don't know. That's just the first thing that came into my mind because I was thinking about those packages of those, like you know, those like cone-shaped packages of popcorn that I sell sometimes. I picture him at a job packing those up and putting them on like a crate to ship out. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need to take a break? No, I'm just like trying to understand why you were thinking that. You do sell popcorn. Okay, so technically I'm right. He doesn't package it, but he does serve it. Who said he was behind the counter? That's a good point. Is bowling pin shining a thing you gotta do? Is that a thing? You don't work at the snack bar. Oh, okay. <clears throat> exactly, you racist. How does that? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I could have replaced so... any of the ists with a different one, and you would be like, "How does that?" Sanitizing bowling balls is something you have to do right now. Yeah, I imagine so. That's good. I mean, it's good that the bowling alley is taking. Precautionary measures. Mm -hmm. Alright, Sarah Logan versus Shotzi Blackheart. So, in the Gold Rush tournament, confirmed for the semifinals, it's Bailey versus Asuka. And now in the round two, we have Shotzi Blackheart versus Sarah Logan, and I don't know who to pick. I kind of want Sarah Logan. I want Shotzi. I might even play that match to make sure it's Sarah, but I don't know. Bad. Do not play. <laughs> It's the tournament! You can't play! Yeah, yeah. Mrs. Eric or Izzy Ivar, I don't know, man. I only know them as Hanson and Raymond Rowe. Anything other than that is wrong. War Raiders! Their name in the indies was War Machine, which I think is just way cooler. I mean, War Raiders is also really cool. Yeah, I didn't like it at first, but it grew on me after a while. Like... You could call them War Machine or War Raiders, and I would understand who you're talking about, but the Viking experience... Oh, I hate it. I'm still so mad about that, and it's been like two years since that's happened. Mrs. Not War Beard Viking Experience. Uh... Alright, Arn Anderson. Also, if, if know, anyone... I if anyone has any uh, recommendations for this tag team making, Arn Anderson and Dean Malenko, if you have any ideas for a tag team name, you can go ahead and drop them in the comments or here in the chat. I wanted to kind of call them Death Tactics. Because Arn Anderson is the enforcer, Dean Malenko is the shooter. Death Tactics. I thought that sounded, I think it sounds cool. Wait, what the? The four not kill Kilkapees? What does it even mean? C Cyclope. The four not Cyclope. I don't know what that means. 
What does sequel play mean? Is that something gross? I don't know. What does sequel play mean? According to Clope Garage Doors, exposure what? C is defined as open terrain with scattered. How did that get me garage doors? What the it's hell? It's a luchador. It's a luchador demonico just as up as. And... Oh, okay. Also, actually, Preston, I I don't know if you were here, if like maybe you were here in the background, but you missed the shortest match we've ever had. Shorter than Monami versus Aja. Saw Boo hit Finley with the Hurricane Rana and got the pin combo, and that was it. Finley had no offense. None whatsoever. Just Hurricane Rana, one, two, three, done. And now Sabu on Thunder has a match against Pete Dunn for the championship. Wait, what the hell? Oh, we have two championship matches tonight. The United States Championship and the Women's Championship versus Akira Hakoto. Okay, I'm for it. Peter Dunn. Dun. Peter Dunn Dunn. No relation to Kevin Dunn. Or Pete Dunn. Mm -mm. I swear to God, if they bring up Pete Dunn and have him be Kevin Dunn's son, I'm going to kill someone. I think we're a pest. Okay, but hear me out, Preston. <laughs> Whatever you suggest next. <laughs> it's Sting! It's, it's Pete, Pete Dunn. Dunn. But Michael, Michael Scott. Scott. Call, <laughs> Call him. him. Oh, oh, I'm scared. Michael Dunn. Pete Scott. Peter, Peter Dunder, Dunder Mifflin. Mifflin. What does that even mean? Pete Dunder Mifflin. Pete. D That's what it should oh. be. <laughs> the puns. God, I love puns. Oh. You, you, you got to do it right. It'd be Pete Dunder Mifflin. This is what gives me life. This is what gets me wet, Pixel. <laughs> no. I said what I said. Oh, Preston, no. by the way, uh, Preston, Jushin won that big six-man uh, match. No. That is certainly something you said. <laughs> I think I broke Pixel. No. Yeah, Preston. Jushin I'm having Liger. one of those Markiplier moments where he just is constantly saying no. He just nopes out. It came down to Jushin Liger and Brock Lesnar, and Jushin made Lesnar tap out with uh, the Tequila Sunrise. Well, I gotta go. Lol, JK. <laughs> They're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one here right now, though. Brock's at a 93, and Liger's at 91. They both have resiliency. That's going to be wild. You go one, you go one on, on one, one with the Undertaker! The Undertaker! Okay, so, opening match, championship match, the United States Championship, Mike Austin versus the Hurricane, Shotzi Blackheart oh, versus what? Sarah Logan, Alistair the Black and DDP. Mike Mark Calloway. Me and Mark Calloway. Alistair Black and DDP versus Arn Anderson and Dean Malenko. Jushin Lager versus Brock Lesnar. And then main event for the Women's Championship, Akira Koto versus Aja Kong. And then play Jericho play is going to call out Hala. Awesome. Exactly. It'd be Hala Hala play a play a Hala Hala. Let's get this on. Get a bottle of water real quick. We gonna have ourselves a tag team match. We gonna have ourselves a tag team match. I love Teddy Long. Teddy Long, best GM ever. Indeed. All right. After that huge win over Chris Jericho, the heavyweight championship, heavyweight, the heavyweight champion, Mike Awesome, has got a lot of momentum heading into the championship match. If anything, that win proves he's heavyweight championship material. J 
Jake, just remember, you can do community channel point goals. So, like, it, you set a goal, and then if the entirety of chat can reach it, then you'll do that challenge or whatever for uh, channel points. Hmm. I'll figure that out. I know what you're talking about. I've seen it. You were convinced as a child that Mike Awesome was just the Mrs. Indie name. <laughs> no, I thought the same thing too. Because <laughs> it I was... does sound like something that would have been Mrs. Indie name. Yeah, when I was. Uh... But no, he was all a WWE homegrown talent. Yeah. All right, Hurricane's already in the ring. There's Mike Awesome. Here we go, these two about to get it on, and Hurricane getting right, blasting Mike Awesome in the corner. Here come the rights. He's got the big man down, there's the mud hole stomps. Referee's got to back him up. Hurricane means business. And he's got the cape on, so you know he's at 100% power. Not even taking the cape off. No, that cape was, is it's his energy source. And Mike Awesome's got a huge win under his belt after taking on the heavyweight champion. You gotta wonder if that's gonna do anything to the mindset of Hurricane. Huge lariat! I mean, Hurricane has never faced Jericho, so why would it do anything to his mindset? Okay, that's a good point. <laughs> the cape is glued to his spinal cord. <laughs> nope. That's a logical fallacy. <laughs> oh, big stunner by Mike Awesome! And now on the shoulders. Stung good on the top rope. No cape equals no hurricane. <laughs> Another Larry Otto! Larry Otto! Into the chest. Shoulder toss by Mike. And Hurricane forced to roll the outside. Wasted no time getting back inside, though. From behind, there's a shot to the back. A shoulder block. And with the gut wrench, Mike Awesome. With the power bomb coming in. Boom! Do a shooting star with the cape, please. Yes. <laughs> I don't think the shooting star... Oh, wait a minute. It's within Hurricanes. But here he's got him up for the Verna Breaker! He can do this, though. <laughs> could that be it? One. Two. No, only a two count. I don't care who you are. The Verna Breaker looks like it hurts. It sucks. And for a guy of his size to do it, like IRL, a man his size should not be doing that move. He this still does it, slam. and he's done it to One, people bigger than him. Two. A hurricane with a decisive win over Mike Awesome. Wow. Just one Zeno choke slam, and Hurricane is still United States champion. His first defense, I believe. If old Jesus Terry <laughs> Funk can do a picture perfect moonsault night in and night out, then Hurricane can definitely pull off a shooting star. I just don't think it's within his move set currently. I don't think he's using it in his move set because he's more of a technical wrestler. He's not a high flyer cruiserweight. He does have the eye of the storm in his arsenal though. The diving cross body or splash. But but he doesn't go to it very often. I put a whole list of all of his special moves in the in the chat. He recently called decided to name his Shining Wizard the Sparkling Wizard. He's got the Fireball Punch, Eye of the Storm, Verta Breaker, Zeno Choke Slam. This man is geared out with moves. This man doesn't want to go up to the top rope. I'll put him up there and make him. <laughs> We're not gonna force him to do what he doesn't want to do. If he doesn't want to 
go to the top rope and constantly do flips and sh then we won't force them to. <sighs> All right, Hurricane Stess won his first title defense. On to our next match of the night. Shotzi Blackheart versus Sarah Logan. And I know for a fact that Sarah Logan still has her NWO entrance because I forgot to do it. Now he's going to that top rope. He's going to that top rope. If he chooses to, then yeah, he'll go to that top rope. We already have a lot of wrestlers to do the shooting star anyway. And by a lot, I mean two. <laughs> I mean, you've got the five-star frog splash. What more do you want? <laughs> We've got Eddie Guerrero. Like they did to Sid. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sid. <laughs> they, uh, they told Sid that his moveset wasn't very good, I guess. He wasn't very versatile. So he tried to add a second row big boot, basically is what it was. But when he did it, he landed funny and just broke his ankle. Like, it was so bad. You gotta watch the footage of it, man. There's no describing it. It's just awful. No, I don't think I want to watch someone. Okay, don't angry. watch it, but it's bad. You know, gotta remember, Vesa Vagelry. Worst wrestling injury major. ever. Definitely one of the worst. One of the worst that wasn't, uh... That didn't result in a death. Yeah. Because if <sighs> we were going for worst injury, then that would probably belong to Owen Hart. R.I.P. Owen Hart. And there's Shotzi Blackheart. Like... That, that's one of those things where even if you paid me to, I would not want <laughs> to do that. It's a bowling shoe ugly. Yeah, Eric, <laughs> that NWO entrance. And her opponent oh, just skip. From Louisville, if you keep up with football, it's comparable to Dak Prescott's recent injury. I don't watch football. Pixel does, though, so he knows about that probably. Oh. I I haven't seen the the break, but yeah, I know how bad Dak's ankle was. Like, who? Yeah, but knee. instead of his ankle, it's his knee. Oh, pop up headbutt by Sarah Logan. Brain brain went. Brrr. Oh, a roll up, cheeky roll up. One. No, only a one count. Shotzi Blackheart you know, with that mare kick to the back. The Chiefs, I really hope the Bills slaughter the Chiefs. <laughs> After that helmet to helmet in th that last game, I do not want the Chiefs to win at all. Hmm. I really hope Josh Allen. Big boot! You're a Packers fan? I'm a Raiders fan. So I'm kind of sad a right now. Bears fan. But if I have to pick, I probably will. I probably would pick the Packers. Just because why not? <laughs> oh, or I can run it. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I know. I know <laughs> how bad the Bears are. The Bears are not great. Die, Bears. And Jake. Yeah. Hi. Yes. Packers and the Bears have the longest rivalry in the NFL. Oh boy. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's not there's no real logic to why I picked the Packers. I just sure Packers. It's, it's like that. Also, what is Sarah Logan doing? Oh, I thought it was gonna be no, on the outside. It, it's one of those things where. You think you're getting banned? <laughs> you're fine. The year where the Bears got Khalil Mack, they really should have. They 
the Browns did not. The Browns do got their terribly. ass kicked. The, the Browns got cheated out of the Chiefs. Out of that game. The helmet Slow to Logan. helmet was an absolute cheat because he would have had a touchdown otherwise, but the helmet to helmet ended up giving the Chiefs the ball, which cost the Browns that six points and seven points because the field goal after. <laughs> I don't care what you say. One. The Browns should have won that game. They should have football. at least gone to overtime. I don't watch football. That helmet to helmet was that should have been called because it was picked up on the mics, but the refs did not call. Your dad is a Browns fan. My dad is a Cowboys fan. I'm I'm not a Browns fan, but I will call out the refs BS when it's all BS on the refs part. <laughs> It's literally because the NFL probably Boom. told them, don't call it. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't care One, that the Chiefs are now the two, face of the oh, NFL. Up, I will die on that hill that the Chiefs <laughs> should have lost that game. Sarah Logan from the top. Or, I mean, Sarty Blacker from the top. What for the senton? The Browns lost by a single score. Back elbow. Sarah Logan, setting Shotzi up against the ropes. Chop across the chest. Here we go. Kentucky knee. Boom, right to the spine. You don't want to see Browns versus Bills just because you want to see two teams who haven't had a lot to do well. Or haven't had a lot do well. Okay. The, the rest are also deaf because... <laughs> The helmet to helmet was picked up on the mics. How, it would have been much louder in person. How the hell did the refs not hear? Like we're shots into the corner. Running knee. I want the Bills to decimate the Big boot. Chiefs. And if the Chiefs do not have Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs are going down. Oh, dirty pin. Sarah Logan's are feet of the ropes. Shotzi kicks all out. All they'd have at this point is uh, Tyreek Hill, uh, Travis Kelsey. <laughs> they, they'd only have those two. And you could throw Carl Edwards Hilaire in there, but... Oh, boy. Super drop kick! Sarah Logan's out. One, two. I wouldn't be surprised if the NFL pays off the independent doctor to clear Mahomes. I wouldn't be surprised. They're trying to hand it to the Chiefs. The fighting spirit of Shotzi Blackheart. It's because the Chiefs are the face of the NFL, so they're going to try what they will to make the Chiefs win. In the corner. Oh boy. Off the ropes. Big super kick. And again. And again the trifecta. One. Two. There you go, Sarah Logan. All right, and Shotzi Blackheart moves on to the semifinals. She will be taking on either Io Shirai or Lita. Io. Asuka. So we got Asuka, Bailey, and then Shotzi versus, I'm hoping, Io, but we'll find out on Thunder. Mr. MVP A-Rod has to beat some old dinosaur, Kermit the Frog, and some white kid to earn his second ring. <laughs> <laughs> I will not lie. Aaron I wish Rogers I could understand that. That sounds hilarious. MVP. Huh? Aaron Rodgers does deserve MVP. Mm. I won't lie about that. Here is your winner, Tank Girl wins. 
Next match. We need a ref like Earl Hebner in the NFL. Yes. Also, you know, there's a match going on. Yeah. <laughs> eh. <laughs> that That's the difference. Jake is the WWE boy, whereas I actually watch some other sports. I don't watch all of the other sports. Like, I'll occasionally check in on baseball and sports just um, doesn't interest me very much like like unless a team really... i'm playing is on i don't really care but even then i i still i don't really <laughs> malenko and arn were definitely yeah they were they were the the final iteration of the four horsemen was arn anderson dean malenko and i forgot the other two but i know that they were uh part of the four horsemen I imagine Ric Flair was there because you can't have the Ford Horseman without a Flair. Flair and Benoit, yep. I remember now. Because I looked it up before uh, uh, making them a team. Who was the Ford Horseman? I know it was Arn and Flair. And then it's also Ole Anderson. And it was... Who else was it? Um, you could do... The original Four Horsemen. So these two are now the Wild Horsemen? <laughs> no, they're a whole different thing. There's not going to be a Four Horsemen. I wanted to do a Four Horsemen, but I, I, I'm good. Ben who? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, there you, you go. Take... It was it was Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, Ole Anderson, and then Tully Blanchard. That was the original Four Horsemen. But here, Dean Malenko... Conquest and War. Conquest and War. Those are two... Horsemen of the Apocalypse. That's true. So you could just you could make their tag team Conquest and War. I kind of like death death uh, death tactics. I'll think about it. I'm still taking suggestions because I haven't fully decided yet, as you can tell. Or War Conquest. War Conquest. Technical and <laughs> technical enforcement. Well, I came up with death tactics because the enforcer and the shooter. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 463 pounds, Alistair Black and Diamond Dallas. You could also do war tactics. War tactics, yeah. Alistair Black and Diamond Dallas Page as run like, once again as tag team. As a tag team. I was about to say champions, but no, just tag team. Assuming this is out before uh, the name has already been chosen, leave a team name in the comments. <laughs> team name. Two big guys being bad. <laughs> yeah. Being big. Two big guys being big. Oh, okay, there you go. I, I, heard, I read bad. I don't know why. You know I'm bad, I'm bad, shamal. Come on, bad, bad. You know, Josh Allen carried me in fantasy. <laughs> Him and Dalvin Cook. Big Schmidt. Big Schmidt. Yeah. <laughs> You're not bad in the room, them boys back. You know what I'm saying. Why did I say no, like that? No, that that'd be an entire faction of big boys. Big boys, <laughs> big schmeat. <laughs> All right, boys, Alistair Black, you're messing with the shooter. It could be the actual NWO. Why is Arn Anderson's face so squished? Because his face is squished in real life. <laughs> Have you never it, noticed? It could be like our actual NWO, Big Schmeat. <laughs> God, no. All the big guys in one stable. Not that much. Yeah, well, here we go. Alistair Black, Arn Anderson. These two faced off last week in one-on-one -on -one action. Here they are now with their partners see. in tag team action. We have not Did seen Alistair really Black in DDP. The Dark Diamonds, the Black Diamonds, yeah. 
You really do like, uh, your hosses. Yeah, I like big beefy boys. That so don't, like do not take that out of context. Who likes, who likes big man meat being slapped around? You're a boy in a man's world. And um, I'm not going to continue that sentence because it'll probably get me demonetized. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. NWO, no, because, <laughs> no whittle because ones. Because you have monetization. I have monetization on my channel with five subscribers. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Arn Anderson with the elbows to the gut. NWO, no whittle ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Big knee in the corner, Alice. So Black rolls out. Quickly gets back in. Here we go. Oh, misses the discus knee strike. Aaron Anderson tries to take him from behind. Jake likes himself some schmeat. <laughs> I like my boys with a little bit of fat on them, you know what I'm saying? He needs a little bit of marbling. <laughs> a little bit of marbling. I like my boys the A5 style. <laughs> Medium rare. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> but I made you laugh. That's the important part. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. The Brain Busters. Tully and Arn were called the Brain Busters. Yeah, I remember that. Arn Anderson keeping Alistair in the corner there with Dimalenko. What are they going to do here? Off the ropes. Arn Anderson with the drop toe hold. And Dean delivering his elbow right to the spine. DDP held his hands out there for the hot tag but couldn't make it. Ah, oh, now Dean Malenko pulling away at the face of Alistair. Pointing right at DDP as he does it. <laughs> so Arn and Dean are called the backcrackers. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, here comes DDP with huge area takes down Dean. This man has one of the most dangerous moves in WCW, the cutter. The diamond cutter, and recently I heard he has added what he calls the diamond death cutter to his arsenal. Perhaps we'll see him pull it out tonight. Please tell me it's a cutter from the top floor. You already know. <laughs> the diamond dutter. The diamond, the the Kaiman Dutter. The Kaiman Cutter. The Kaiman Dutter. The, you've got the Ka the Kaiman Dutter, the Diamond Cutter, the Kaiman Cutter, the Diamond Dutter. I hate all of this. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> now Jake's gonna be confused when he tries to say the Kaiman Dutter. My brain. <laughs> <laughs> Where's DDP dragging Dean? Lives here. <laughs> Is it bad that I was about to say hardcore lives matter? Hardcore, hardcore lives matter. <laughs> Alistair Black going to that place. I was about to say that because. <laughs> you think if you brought that sign to an actual event, you'd get you'd get it taken away? Oh, I'm. I guarantee. <laughs> maybe a, maybe at an MLW show they'll let you, but not in a WWE event. Like, oh my god. Morgan I don't know Freeman, why my brain but he didn't stop. Read that sign at first as hardcore lives matter. I was like, Alistair Black, why would Final they put Flash, two K nineteen, and then I was like, oh. Into the corner. Here we go. Tag in DDP. And it's gonna come. With the alley -oop. Diamond cutter to Dean Malenko. Hey, does... Does anyone one. else... Oh, one and a half. Does... Has anyone heard anything about Battlegrounds? Uh, they're getting DLC and all that. It's free DLC, too. What? 2K? Yeah. Free DLC? I know, right? They're not trying to get money out of the general public. And there's the Diamond Cutter! Busting open Dean Malenko! Diamond Dallas... Diamond Dallas Dutter. Or but he's not Dallas going for the pin! Dutter. 
He didn't go for the pin of the Diamond Cutter. He wants to deal out more damage to the Shooter. There's the Atomic oh. Drop. The 3D. <laughs> the, it's the Diamond closest. Dallas Dutter. There you go. That's what he said. Diamond Dallas Destruction. It'd be the Diamond Dallas Destroyer. Diamond Dallas Destroyer. Yeah! <laughs> You can pull off that cutter in about a hundred different ways. This is one of them. Tagging in Alistair again. It's the common What Dallas the hell? Stutter. Alistair? Leaping the length of the ring for that coast to coast! And DDP with the alley you bomb. Alistair getting back to work here on Arn Anderson. The Enforcer uh, in trouble. All the iterations. Diamond Dallas Page. The you've got the Diamond Dallas Cutter, the Kaiman Callus Cutter, the Kaiman Dallas Cutter, the hey, Kaiman Dallas Cutter. Would you ever so kindly <laughs> shut the hell up? <laughs> These two vying for a spot in the corner. There's Arm with the Irish Whip. <laughs> Shot to the gut. Uh, I'm great. <laughs> I'm. Oh, the ref got sacking down. Really, I'm really good at annoying Jake in very stupid ways. They just keep trading corners. My God. <laughs> no, you get in the corner. No, that was you a very rudely polite way to tell him to be quiet. <laughs> Is uh, uh Arn? Where was I? Is Arn gonna oh, do I something? I'm in Dallas Dutter. Spine Buster! <laughs> it's over! I'm in no Dallas Dutter. No, Dallas Dallas Page breaks it up! Dean Malenko from behind! Oh boy! Alabama I'm slam by Dean Malenko! Dutter. Uh, Diamond Callus Cutter. The stare down of the century. Diamond Dallas Dutter. Diamond Off the ropes. Misses the mushroom stomp. Arn with the Clutter. knee. Diamond Callus Dutter. You having fun over there, Pixel? Yeah. <laughs> oh. And Kaiman Callus Cutter. Ooh, these close combat knee strikes there. Getting right into the face, the ears. Also, now we can I attack the arms. Is uh, Alistair Black's knee actually called the Final Flash. No, strike. it's Matt Riddle's, but I don't know what else to call it, so I'm calling it the Final Flash. Chris like, Wolf, hey, how's it going, man? I was like, I don't feel like that's actually what it's called. I'll think of something eventually. Oh, DDT! Diamond Dallas Page finally coming to. His partner's in trouble. He's got to get in there. One, two... Death Tactics with the win! Why did you go with that name? This is the first one that came to mind. You could have just said... That he scored 10. Well, Arn Anderson getting the win for him and Dean Malenko. I mean, Wild Horseman isn't a bad name. Wild Horseman? No, it's pretty good. I'll probably... <laughs> I'm so indecisive. What I'll probably do is I'll probably put these names in a wheel, and then we'll see what it lands on. I think War Conquest is also a pretty decent name. We got Wild Horseman, War and Conquest, Death Tactics, War no, Tactics. No, just War Conquest. War Conquest. I think War and Conquest sounds better. Look at the blood dripping down from D. Malenko's face. I mean, war conquests make more sense because they're going on a conquest to start wars. Okay, yeah, true, true. Alright, into our next match of the night. Jushin Liger taking on Brock Lesnar. This is technically Shooting Star versus Shooting Star. 
<laughs> you think about that for Lucian, a second? Lucian Jiger versus Larock. That's a weird Bez name to pronounce. Larock. Besner. Locke Besner. Larock Besner. That's really weird. <laughs> At least Lucian Jiger makes more sense. <laughs> Lucian Jiger. The final. It's this also was the way more pronoun pronounce pronounceable. Pronounceable. Pronunciable. Pronounceable. That's what you're trying to say. Pronounceable. Precipitational. I hate you. Jason Liger versus Brock Lesnar. This was the final two in that huge six-pack challenge last week in the main event of Monday Nitro. Liger now has a guaranteed championship match at Halloween Havoc against Chris Jericho. We'll see how we can do in a simple one-on-one, -on -one, though. Both men, fresh as can be, in our semi-main event. Jake, this is one of the few times where you'd be Markiplier and I'd be Ethan. <laughs> Making his way to the ring from Japan, weighing in at 200. Because I've been the annoying... It's like that one episode of Unis Honest! When they were doing the, the rank, ranker pain scale thing, I think. No, that wasn't it. I forget which one, but there was one where Mark was purposefully annoying, and Ethan was actually trying to curb his ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark was just, like, being really infuriating to work with. It's like the opposite of the president. Was it the King's uh, workout fitness challenge thing? No, it was the president one, the presidential... Uh, no, I know, I know that the presidential one was the one where Ethan annoyed Mark so much that Mark punched a hole in a wall. I IWGP that. Brock Lesnar, hell yeah! Trust me, I remember that. <laughs> you got 9.15, Mark! <gasps> <gasps> I'm oh, perfect sorry. Timing. Perfect timing with the pyro. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, they both did it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Just like it versus Brock Lesnar. Alright, here we go. Oh, and Lesnar quickly taking advantage of that wrestling style takedown. Or amateur style takedown, sorry. Now he's got him by the waist. Lesnar's about to make Liger his bitch. B Wait a minute, Liger though. Turning him around, there's the Irish whip off the ropes, rebound coming in, goes under! Oh, and they bump heads. Try it again. Neck breaker! Boom! Overhand right. Liger. Suplex to Brock Lesnar! No, a brain buster! But no, I really wish I could remember Chicago uh, style neck breaker <laughs> the episode where it was Mark annoying Ethan because <laughs> that's exactly what this episode is this episode of Nitro is becoming spear off the apron no that's so exactly the what outside. this episode of Nitro is mm -hmm. well just this episode in general <laughs> So far, the longest episode of Year 3, I think, has been the first one. Because it was like five hours long. These grounded strikes from Brock Lesnar. Assaulting Jushin Liger. Oh, wait, Liger. The arm drag. Gotta find a way to get some offense here against the bigger man here. Liger, we all know, deceivingly strong, but still probably not up to the power can Lesnar is. Liger, please, don't you know, die. Yeah. <laughs> it is episode one. Yeah. But by 20 minutes. <laughs> not even joking. Literally Five minutes by and 20, 20 seconds. Minutes. I mean, five, five hours and 20 minutes. Is that it? Episode 1 is 5 hours, 
44 minutes and 9 seconds. Episode mm-hmm. 9 is 5 hours, 23 minutes, and 4 seconds. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. It is legitimately just barely the long... It's in... Oh, Lesnar's going to the top! Here we go, boys! It's just barely the Shooting longest. star! That's the biggest shooting star you will ever see! One! Two! Wow, he didn't nearly break he his He beat Lesnar! Lesnar beat Liger with the shooting star! Lesnar beat Lesnar? Lesnar beat Liger with the shooting star! Preston! It's not that he can't do one, it's that he doesn't want to do one. <laughs> oh man, okay, Lesnar beating Liger with basically his own move. The move that Liger made famous, and he's not done with him yet! He's gonna put out the Red Sun forever! Preston, you also gotta think. This is the timeline where Brock didn't almost break his neck on a shooting star press. <laughs> oh, my stream went black, God damn it! Put Hurricane on that top rope. <laughs> he faces Lesnar. If it'll make you happy, I will make. I will give Hurricane the shooting star. But he's only gonna have it for one match. Then I'm putting it back. He has to have the cape on. Yeah, he has to have the cape for it as well. All right. And here we go. Our main event of the night for the WCW Women's Championship. Aja Khan will take on Akira Hokoto. No, you're what you call peer pressure. Peer pressure? <laughs> Doesn't Jericho talk after this match? Yeah, and then he talks after this. And then I'll go in real quick and give Hurricane a shooting star. You prefer what you said, Akira Hokoto. Nah, you're Oshikawa. more of a peer pressure. <laughs> Just because peer pressure has influence on people doesn't make you influential. If I was Jake, I would have been stubborn as hell and not caved in at all. <laughs> I bang my head against brick walls. It will not stop me. He does it for pleasure. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad Jake. There's no brick walls near me to bang my head against so I don't even have to worry about it <laughs> it's just the saying Lars Sullivan hmm? there's someone in there's some there's someone's cack in my lobby that's named Lars what Alright, Aja, murder someone. Monami Toyota has been out for over a month with a broken jaw, thanks to Aja Kong. Come home in havoc, she might be in physical condition. In good physical condition. Come havoc? Halloween havoc, yeah. Why'd you shorten it to just havoc? Because I just. I, I, I don't know, man, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> But why? Why does it, why is it important? <laughs> because it makes no sense to shorten it to Havoc. At Halloween Havoc, Monami Toyota could possibly be in fighting condition. There you go. <laughs> Here's the dangerous queen, Akira Hokoto. Ah, uh, yes, it's the way physics. My favorite kind of physics. <laughs> I'm sorry. Water. Water. Oh, I just took a drink as you said that. Awesome. 
Here, I'll just kill this bottle right now. Okay. Chug, chug, chug. There's nothing for me to chug. Also, I made it a rule I'm not chugging water anymore. <laughs> I felt so sick after I did that. I literally, my, my stomach felt so inflated, I wanted to throw up. <laughs> then you chugged wrong. What do you think chugging is, Pixel? <laughs> you have... You probably weren't breathing through your nose. How do you breathe through... Okay, that's a lie. There is a way, and I know I do know how. But that's besides the point. Oh my god. How do you breathe through your nose? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounded like you were about to say. <laughs> <laughs> How do you use nostrils? What are n <laughs> Preston? <laughs> How do you use nostrils? What am nostrils? <laughs> nostrils? Hmm? <laughs> what is a lung? What is lung? What lung? <laughs> what heart? Heart? Who'd he ever beat? Who'd he ever beat? Wait, what? I'd say I'd go get a water to prove that I could chug a water, but I'm too lazy. Hmm. Aja Kong currently is tied with Asuka for the most reigns in WCW history with three apiece. Of course, Asuka. I mean, Asuka... I could also cheat and just go get a little, uh. <laughs> this lung guy you speak I... of, who'd he ever beat? Nobody, that's who. Alright, starting with the lockup. Aja Kong takes hold of the waist, brings her down to the mat. You know. I don't think, I doubt this has ever been tested, but could you live with only one lung? Yeah. You uh, you need a respirator at all times, but yeah, you can. I'm saying, like, without Comfortably. any aid. Oh no, there's no way. You need oxygen to live, Pixel, of course you couldn't. But it's just one long. You need both. <laughs> Whoever said that? Oh, that big boot did. Uh, Akira, you're only making her angry. There's a power slam. <laughs> you were chugging a cup of water on Wednesday, and it went down the wrong way, and immediately, but you stuck with it and almost died. Preston, could you maybe not kill yourself? <laughs> Please, uh, we we enjoy not, having you here. Do not put water down your windpipe. <laughs> PSA by Orc: Don't put water where it shouldn't be. Like Don't your lungs. Don't put water in your lung pipe. Your lung pipe, yes, your windpipe. <laughs> lung pipe, windpipe, same thing. I mean, oh, I'm not monkey wrong. flip. I'm just not using the technical name by saying long pipe. Hmm. I care how cut work in the arms. When it, you're not you when wind isn't put into it. That's a really good question that I don't have the answer to. <laughs> because of the movement of air. You are dared by the waiter and your friends because you're the best at chugging in your friend group. Oh, okay. Still, probably don't do that again. <laughs> At least in a way where it could make you die. Don't, don't let the water go down your windpipe. Dodges the big boot. Falls up with the right. Aja with the arm drag. Kick to the ribs. There's a forearm. Oh boy. Hooks the arms. Another oh question God. I have. Why the hell do water bottle companies put... Uh, 16.9 fluid ounces of water in the bottle instead of just making it around 17 fluid ounces? <laughs> because 
marketing. I don't know, man. Brain Buster by no, Aja Kong! No. It doesn't make any sense. They could make the bottle a little bit bigger, and it wouldn't affect the price that much. You it would dare. what, maybe add a sink onto production? Windpipe? More like windpipe. Aja Kong, what I can! When you see Monami tailed on the hospital, tell her Aja Kong sends her regards. There's the cover. One, two, three. <laughs> Domination. Perfect win. <laughs> Your question is, is there any possible way to make it... Is there any possible... Fuck! Is there any way possible to make it possible for blind people to drive? Probably not, unless the roads were made of braille. Love of God, somebody clip that. Holy shit! <laughs> Unless the roads were. <laughs> oh my God! I thought you were gonna say something smart, like self-driving cars. Self-driving cars. Uh, oh my God! And then you, then you said. Unless the roads are made of braille. And then my brain was like, wait, did he really just say that? And then dying of laughter. <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually crying. Oh my god. I forget what I was even saying prior to that. I forgot. I've forgotten the last ten minutes. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, Aja Kong won. That's Aja all Kong. I know. Yeah, Aja Kong beat Akira Koto. She's gonna go say hi to Monami in the hospital. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ugh, pistol clip that. I'll, I'm gonna do this right now. <laughs> I'll go back and clip it after stream. Yeah, I'll do it myself. Okay, here's Jericho. Oh, fuck. Holy crap. I need to send that to my brother. Your friend works at Chick Fil A, and he said a deaf person came to the drive-thru and you and asked if they had Braille on the menu. <laughs> well, I mean that's okay. We, I gotta, I gotta read. So we're gonna just glaze by that real quick. <coughs> oh, Jericho. Oh man. I know you were asking that as a joke, but they. I wish I you could. I do believe that. Drive-thru workers are taught sign language at some yeah. people. 
I wish you people could see right now the faces of each and every superstar in the back knowing that I'm about to change one of their lives forever by putting them on my radar. It's a mixture of fear, wonder, and excitement. A sight to behold. But no, I do know that some restaurants and stuff have like a camera you think, for the... You think you know your um, heroes, those guys you cheer week in and week out, but you don't know them like I do. I see their true faces. I see what they I see what they say and do when you're not around, and I want to expose them to all of you. Uh, but they will have cameras and try and sign with people who are deaf. Deaf people don't use braille. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm... Oh, man. My mind right now. We're not going to wait until next week. We're not going to wait until the next big event. We're going to do this right here, right now. Mike Awesome, get your big ass out here. Mike Awesome was already beat earlier tonight by the Hurricane in the United States Championship match. The way Jericho looks, it looks as it... The way anyone looks when they call someone out, it's like, you called them out. Why are you acting shocked? Yeah. Excuse me. I know you guys don't care about seeing me out here. That's fine. I didn't come out here to address the fans. I came out here to address the man standing in the ring right now. We need to talk, and that's going to happen whether you like it or not. I gotta hand it to you. I didn't think you'd actually have the stones to come out here. Can't say it was the smartest decision you ever made, but don't worry, pal. You won't have long to regret it, because I'm going to knock you out right here, right now. Oh, damn. Get out here. Comes out. What? Right, Preston. Coming out here and spewing what you're spewing, you say some of the dumbest things I've ever heard. You're denser than a black hole. Seriously. Have you ever taken a moment to think before you speak? I guess that would require you to have a brain, though. Damn. Come on, stupid. I'm gonna share something private with all of you tonight. The morning I woke up with the worst morning breath I've ever had. Think garlic breath and coffee breath mixed with something. I didn't quite finish chewing last night. It was gross. I almost threw up, but I'd rather have that every morning than listen to you. <clears throat> All right, then. I mean, no one cares about your morning breath. If you want your ass kicked, then I don't mind helping you out with that favor. All you've got to do is say the words, and I'll be on you like white on rice. I've never understood that expression. Why do people use white on, like, ri white on rice? I don't, I don't know, man. Neither one of them is doing a good job with this promo. It started out good, it's starting to fall. Now they're just shooting and... We, we Still, tonight. I'm not convinced. You've been out here for what seems like ages, trying to convince me to give a crap, and I'm not feeling it. Sorry. Not feeling it, huh? Not feeling it! Feel this! Smacking him upside the head with that microphone, and Mike Awesome strikes first, and- Oh, Jesus, Jericho! <laughs> Oh my god! And the cr he's the, the crowd is stunned in silence. <laughs> the only thing this crowd, the only it was a Dragon Ball sing. punch. He sent him flying, and then he just comes back like, "You dare challenge me, mortal?" These two are really going at it, though. There's Joe's Jericho in the corner. Mike, awesome bulldog by Jericho. The Alistair Entrance Board. <laughs> the Alistair Entrance Board. <laughs> Mike Awesome going behind. There's the German suplex. Wait, what's that? Alistair oh. Black coming down the ramp. No, I'm kidding. I do think you never could. I think you never be here. This is really awkward. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Awesome Dude, bomb! A version of it on purpose. <laughs> Just because I don't, I think that'll get past uh, DMCA. WWE. No man no is man ever is truly, ever truly oh, awesome. <laughs> Big lariat, and the referee's got to pull back. Mike, awesome. Oh, 
All right, then that's how we end tonight's Monday Night Show. I do the hold you never could, and we will never be equal. Ha, 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 Fat chick thrill the mic awesome. Is that a real thing? I don't like the implications of that. The implications are exactly what you think. <laughs> ah. All right, so <laughs> opening match, the Hurricane versus Mike Awesome. Hurricane wins, retains his title. It was a real thing. Yep, thought so. Shots of Blackheart beats Sarah Logan, moves to the semifinals. Arn Anderson and Dean Malenko beat Black Diamonds. Lesnar beats Liger. Aja Khan retains her title against Akira Hakoto. And Jericho calls out Mike Awesome. Which ends in a brawl. Freaking Just... coward hurricane. He did attack Mike Awesome prematurely, so... No! The bell, the ref had rung the bell. Well, then Mike Awesome just had a full on head of steam, then. You mean, Hurricane had a full head of steam. Yeah, Hurricane. God, man, I don't... <sighs> Fuck. <clears throat> That's the news. Jake's so frazzled after... Yeah, just... Put Braille on the roadways. <laughs> I said it. So, the thing is, I said it so confidently. <laughs> We've completely swapped personalities because I was the one doing the stupid stuff for the first three five, hours six of the stream, and then the last six, Jake has just been utterly stupid. Oh my god. If the if the roads were made of braille, <laughs> that's gonna live for that. That needs to live forever on my channel now. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, the hurricane was all over Mike Austin as soon as the bell rang, delivering an onslaught to his opponent until the referee had to step in. The superstar's momentum doesn't look like it can be stopped as he continues to complete to compete against his rival. And I'm going to start this right over here, Liger and Brock. That will be the lead up. I need to... a second set of Chile's clothes like the blind need Braille on the road. Excuse me? I need a second set of Chile's clothes in Xenoverse like the blind need a Braille on the road. Need Braille on the road. What would that accomplish? <laughs> Absolutely <sighs> nothing. And both of those are true. Oh, man. Okay. Fuck me running. All right, let's move on to Thunder. No. I will not do that while you were running. I will not I was... do that in general. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so blind people. Read. Blind people. Blind people read on road trips. God damn it. Alright, how uh, people read. Sabu versus Pete Dunn for the WCW Television Championship. Sabu can go the entirety of Universe Mode and not accomplish anything, but he will always have the fastest match in WCW history. The fastest victory. Fast victory, at least. My like, screw him back again, goddammit. Yeah. <clears throat> that little lemur kids show Zambomafu? Zabumafu. Oh, now the internet's acting up. Hold on a second. I would have thought he was thinking of uh, one of the Madagascar. Okay. <clears throat> Sabu Mafu. <laughs> uh, pain. <laughs> yeah, I don't really put him in this one. Put him in that outfit. 83 to 81. It's pretty even. Ah. <sighs> 
You know, I really wish they had Braille on the road. <laughs> That's got to be a shirt at some point now. <laughs> Chris, well, hey, Chris, welcome back. You should never run a wrestling company. <laughs> You should never run a wrestling I should never run a wrestling company. You misspeak so much. If I do, I at least can't be commentary. Because <laughs> as good as I think I am, I'm really not. <laughs> I wouldn't be a commentator either. I could do interviews. I'm okay with that. Put, Put Braille, Braille on, on the entrance, entrance ramp. ramp. <laughs> yep. For all uh, those blind wrestlers we have. All those blind wrestlers we have. <laughs> that, that'd be such a fun gimmick. You play every match of a wrestler who's blind, but you have to play blindfolded. Oh, man. That'd be such a fun gimmick. It would, though. <laughs> The only problem is, you'd have to play every single match. Oh, For the thanks. referees, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Sabu at ringside. What? <laughs> ah, my brother's sending memes. Are they good oh. memes? Okay, it wasn't him sending memes. <clears throat> but no, my brother sent me a screenshot. From Are there Braille on the road up, up, here? Memes? <laughs> he sent me a screenshot from Up Up Down Down of Alexa Bliss. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Whoa, what horny jail? <laughs> I still need to get my horny jail mallet. <laughs> Smudge over the desert rose. We keep that match. All right. <laughs> Xbox is tucking their tail and not actually doing the 120 a month. Good. They realized how bad of a mistake it was after You could buy, like, backlash. two games for that amount of money. You could buy a whole new system for that amount of money, really. What is this Paul mm. Heyman match? Well, there is, Paul Heyman is going to be in a match, but not that one. Actually, I don't think you could buy a PS5, Xbox... Series X, I didn't Xbox say a modern. I didn't say modern station, modern console. What a PS3? Because a PS2 is going to be way more it than a PS3. No, PS3. I've seen some pretty cheap ones. Is the uh, is the weird stepchild the of weird the PlayStation stepchild. series? Because. <clears throat> PlayStation 1 was revolutionary. The PlayStation 2 is still the most sold console. PS3, yeah. And then the PS4... I mean... PlayStation does hold four of the top five console... Uh... Not mobile. They hold four of the top five non-mobile consoles. How do you still have locked people in this game? Well, the only people I have locked are people I don't need. Like, okay, hold on, let's find one. Like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like Jim Neidhart. I'm never going to use Jim Neidhart. At least I don't see myself ever using him. 
So I don't need you him. You know, it's it's just one of those things where it's like he doesn't feel like going out of his way to Mr. Perfect's never gonna use him. And if I ever do need them though, I have an, I have enough VC by now that I could afford them. So it's fine. <clears throat> okay. So in order of most sold consoles, not including anything that is mobile, is PS2, PS4, PS1, Wii. Put some respect on PS3. Jim Neidhart's name. It's not that against Jim Neidhart, I just don't need to use him. <laughs> the only time I really ever need to unlock people is when I'm downloading a call, and that call calls for moves that are that belong to that person I'm unlocking. The Xbox 360 is just barely behind the PS3. <clears throat> We're, uh, we just passed four hours, so I'll probably end the stream after I'm done setting up Thunder, and I'll be back on Monday. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. So I'm going to put this tag team match here. Champions. Wow, that's actually somewhat of a surprise. What? The PSP uh, is the third most sold handheld behind the... the DS and the Game Boy Advance. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. After the PSP, it's the 3DS family, the Nintendo Switch, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, and then the Sega Game Gear. <laughs> and then after the Game Gear is the Vita. PlayStation I mean, Vita failed. Yeah. Like, I don't hear anyone ever it, talking about, like, oh, the Vita's so cool. Uh, only... Like, honestly, I forgot the Vita even existed. Same. Like, I could have probably told you that the PSP... I could have probably thought of the PSP. Or the... The... A.K.A. what you do to get the attention of a cat. Am I wrong? No, you're not. But no, I I will die on the hill that the PS2 is. The you had a PSP. Game you don't remember a single game you had for it. I had the PSP. I think I was. I think it was my sixth birthday. I was given a PSP by my dad, and he gave me one game. It was the Family Guy multiverse game, and he gave me a few movies. He gave me Kill Bill Volume Two, and uh, Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> There's a third movie as well. I think it was Hitman. Revolution or something like that. And uh, I remember my uncle actually stole it from me because he didn't have, we didn't have TV. He didn't have TV in his room at the time. So he would steal my PSP and watch those three movies on repeat. And actually the only, out of those three movies, the only movie I watched was Kill Bill. And then I think he sold it. <laughs> he sold my PSP. Because I have no idea where it's at now. I think the only game I would want to play that's on the PSP, I think it was on the PSP, is Daxter. Daxter. Okay, it's, so... It's the Jack and Daxter spinoff where you play as Daxter instead. Oh. Alright, so we got Samoa Joe versus Dusty Rhodes, Io Shirai versus Lita in a second round match. Whoever wins goes to the semifinals to face Shotzi Blackheart. We have the Tag Team Champions, Cesaro and Tiger Mask taking it on Arn Anderson and Dean Malenko. Paul Hammond versus Montez Ford 2. Chris Jericho versus Kazuchika Okada. And in the main event for the WCW Television Championship, Sabu versus Pete Dunne. And as much as I want to play this now, I'm going to end the stream. Uh, I'll be back Monday. 
We'll finish the month out, or at least get to here. <laughs> you got the team name. What is it, Preston? Dean and Arm. What is it? Darn Manderson. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, uh, one more thing, actually. I guess I'll stay. Hold on. I'll do an exhibition match real quick. This is spe this is especially for Preston. Preston, I'm doing this because of you. And yes, I was right. It's Daxter on the PSP. Yeah. Oh, and Jack and Daxter the Lost Frontier. Influential! <laughs> After this, it's gonna go right back, okay? Just one. I'm gonna go all the way to signatures. Okay. Alright, I have to remember elbow drop and splash. Okay. Now, which one do we give him? <laughs> number two the toe touch oh well too late <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'll play as hurricane so I make sure he does it put the cape on oh, that's why all right, who's someone I can use? Uh, versus... Uh... Shooting star is a shooting star. Yeah, true. <laughs> versus... Yeah, fine, I'll just pick random. Give me a number between 1 and 10. 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. DDP. 20! No. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, just CMLL. This is, a, this is, okay, we're gonna go back in time. This is what, this match took place during the S3 New Year's Summit, and it was a, uh, a dark match. But, no, uh, I didn't even realize that Jack and Daxter The Lost Frontier was made by a different studio because Naughty Dog canceled the uh -huh. development of it because they were unable to sustain the game's development alongside Uncharted. Mm. So they sacrificed Jack and Daxter for Uncharted. I'm okay with that. But then they pass the project on to a different developer. Ah, but yeah, but yeah. Which, okay. which is one of those things that <clears throat> I wanted to have done because I've only played the first three <clears throat> in full. Well, other than the first one, I've played the first three in full. Uh, I've beaten two and three before. Why does Hurricane have a... I know why he has a briefcase. Because you still have him as the briefcase. No, because a long time ago, I tried to do a 205 Live Universe mode where 205 Live was the main show and all the pay-per-views were 205 Live. It was Cruiserweights only. I tried to do that. And there was a 205 Live Money in the Bank briefcase, but I deleted it. And for some reason, the uh, briefcases in this game are stupid, and even when you delete one, it doesn't take it off the person who holds it. So, there you go. This is a random briefcase. Inside the briefcase is the money he was paid to show up. <laughs> yep. He's just flexing on them. We're going back in time. This match took place during the S3 New Year's Summit, but it was a dark match. So only the people in the crowd got to see it. 
A season From three the New Year's Shore, Summit? Yeah. Wow. Someone decided to leak footage of it. Yeah, there we go. That's what happened. <laughs> this is one of those free matches that get uploaded to YouTube. No, it doesn't even get uploaded to YouTube because it was a dark match. We're okay, yeah, that, make, that makes more sense. <laughs> Excuse me. We're WWE. We don't tell people about our dark matches. <laughs> Dark matches. The are curtain for call fans. match. Yes. All right, here we go. I'm playing. Here we go. I don't think I've ever played as Hurricane, so this is gonna be different. How? Oh God, the cape's in his face. Okay, we're fine. Hurricane has Ultra Instinct. He just decides not to use it all the time. I ran past him. God damn it. Oh, remember the fireball punch? Diamond Dallas Page, though. Had it scouted. There's another neckbreaker. The cape betray Hurricane. Biggest half turn. Biggest heel turn of the... Of the ever... <laughs> The cape does not betray Hurricane. He has Ultra Instinct. So he he knows where his opponent is at all times. Which for people that did not know, it's not just a Dragon Ball thing, it's actually a martial arts thing. It's said to be the state where... Her Instinct? Yes. Is her instinct. There you go, yeah. Oh, what's this? Hurricane from the top rope. My god, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. Go, oh, he's still hit it! Standing sh <laughs> shooting star clothesline! <laughs> and he's continuing the attack with that suplex! Shooting spear press! Shooting spear press! <laughs> Could you imagine a shooting star into a bloody spear? Oh, here we go! Sparkling wizard! Oh, he's gonna go with the Xeno Choke Slam. DDP though, on the shoulders! Shoulder toss! Well, you can't change it now. <laughs> no. Yes, I can. I have the keys to this castle here. The castle's Preston. I mean, Hurricane. <laughs> Preston, you're the castle. <laughs> you're the castle. I have made you my castle. It's like that episode. It's like that episode of Gravity Falls where they're playing Dungeons and Dragons, and that one sheriff is the castle because they don't want him to play any actual roles. That's funny. I never watched Gravity Falls because I didn't care about it. Pretty good. Ain't no keys to me. I can go two ways. There's no key in here. Zigzag. May the light be your guiding key. <laughs> If Tech was here, he'd be very happy. <laughs> is that a Kingdom Hearts reference? Yes, yes it is. Oh, Rocker Dropper by DDP! Bang! The fighting spirit of Diamond Dallas Page. Another Sparkling Wizard reversed! And here he comes! I'm pretty sure that's the line. Oh no! Black Diamond Bombs a Hurricane! TDP definitely drinks bang energy. Oh, for sure. Oh, reverse the Death Cutter! I mean, Diamond Cutter! See, Pixel, goddammit. I hate you. <laughs> it's your fault I messed that up. <laughs> the Diamond Dutter? 
The Kaiman Dutter. The Dutter Kaiman? The Kaimer Dutter. The Kaiman Cutter? I hate everything. God, let me just win this match so I can go home! I wanna the go Diamond home! Dutter. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Oh, Hi! Oh, Is that a choke oh, slam? Oh. Wait, did he appear versus? Shit! Oh no! Another black diamond bomb! Oh, but it's a rope break. Here's the difference. If Hurricane loses, it's because Jake is incompetent. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter right now. I'm just having fun at this point now. <laughs> I wanna go That's why I'm not commentating and I'm actually talking to Pixel. <laughs> I wanna go home. Are you ready for it, Preston? Oh! Shooting star! Yeah! And it's Press time. Press that man! And it's time. You going down, Diamond Dallas? Set no choke slam! Oh, you thought it was o okay. Well, it might be actually. <laughs> oh, you thought it was over. You thought it was over, didn't you? Hurricane. You thought, you thought you got the best of the hurricane. Pose. Joe Sorius, we're goddamn Dallas Page. Cyclone kick. Oh yeah, I forgot he has a cyclone kick. I didn't list that in the in the Discord. What's this? A third time? No way! Oh! No, I knew I should have done it a third time! Once you do it a third time, it gets predictable. It's the oh, no. rule of three! Oh no! Reverse the diamond cutter again! God, the the Kaiman Dutter! No Kaiman Dutter for you, Kaiman Callus Cage. That's exactly what his name is, and it's never been different. <laughs> it's just CCC. <laughs> CC is pizza. That's dead. Is it actually? I think so. I've been to a CC's like once. I went to CC's Pizza, like, twice. It was buffet pizza. It was eventually gonna die. Yeah. Close down to the outside! Hurricane! With the wind escape! Gonna fly! You were waiting for your, your stamina to regain. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why is he just standing there? Menacingly. Get out of there, Diamond Dallas Page! And on the concrete! Verna Breaker on the concrete! Uh, there's padding between the concrete. It's a very thin layer of padding. Get back but in there. It's still padding. Thin man, this padding dark is, is better than no padding. <laughs> This dark match is crazy, man. Yeah, Meltzer gave it five stars. Did you hear? <gasps> Who? Dave Meltzer. Oh, I thought you said Walter. Ah, yes, Walter. Like the ring comp, he's apparently he's rating matches now. You mean Walter? His name is Walter. But he's Austrian, so you say the W as a V. Oh, okay. The first choke slam attempt. Yeah, he was the brightest move of Hurricane. Oh god! Wasn't the brightest move of you. Oh, wait a minute. I have to let him do it. I have to let him do it, Pixel. No, you don't. I have to let him do it, though. No, you don't. But I do. No, you don't. But I have to let him do it. Look, he's setting him up. No. Diamond no. Page, the uppercut. No, Hurricane's in bad territory. This is it! It wouldn't make sense canonically. The Diamond Death Cutter! Jake threw.
Diamond Death Cutter! One! Diamond Dallas Page beat Hurricane! What do you mean? His hands... The ref clearly didn't see the rope break! That was rope break as hell! Zero stars! Zero stars? Negative 30 stars! Jesus Christ, there is no comeback from this match! No, see, that's see, so, so, see. the thing is, though, that's why they had this dark match. Diamond Dallas Page was testing out the new finisher. No, it doesn't make any sense canonically because th you said this was a really long time back. It was, at this point, yeah, it was a long time ago, you're right. It was like a month ago. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I played it just for fun, and I wanted to give Preston a shooting star. So I'm gonna go back and change that, and then we'll end this real quick, because I need to rest my voice. That fucking braille killed my throat, and I need to just calm down. I need water, and probably people food. People have spoken. Shame! Shame! Shame to Jake for losing. <laughs> Okay, it was the elbow, right? He had an elbow originally. The eye of the storm. Yeah. No, the, uh, the eye of the storm is the cross body or the body splash. Wait, what the hell? Oh, that's standing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now, which elbow did he have, though? Why didn't you write it down? Probably should have done that, yeah. Whatever looks best, I guess, is what we'll give him. I think it was one. Yeah, I'll just go with one. That's the exact opposite of what Braille is meant for. <laughs> there we go. What? You use Braille to see, right? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Tell me okay. blind people can't see if they're using braille? How dare you? That's not how... Not, never how mind. dare you insult their way of life? <laughs> way of life? No, uh, Jake said that braille hurt his throat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about his stupidity when he was talking about braille. I meant my stupidity. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, thanks, Preston, for showing up. It was real nice to see you, hear from you. Thanks to Tim for the follow as well. Much appreciated. It's good seeing you all here. Uh, be back Monday. I might stream this weekend. Probably some Xenoverse since that raid is going on. Do some grinding with Pixel here. And uh, see you later, skis. Yeah, I'll see you all later. Thanks for coming.